we'll have a quick catch up for um, our recording since we lost the last session, and for Aaron since they weren't here. Um, so last session, not okay. So both not much happens, and also a lot happens. So it's been four days. Um, Aaron, while you were gone, the group traveled from the small town of Barkskin to the city of Seaflight, uh, the capital and one of the three largest cities on this continent, island, whatever. Um, during their travels, they had some interesting interactions. They met a blind and mostly deaf gnome, I think it was, who they proceeded to steal all of his life savings and leave him to die. Um... <laughs> yeah, you yep. give him to him paying for his services and then stole everything that he had. What a great clear, yeah, including <laughs> including his fantasy weed. So we can't even rely on that to soften the blow. I know. Even um, his weed. Even his weed. Oh my god! Um, his fantasy weed. The group also. What else did you do? You passed by a small encampment. You didn't really talk to them. You encountered a strange monk who basically dared you all to take his take. I think it was five turns each. Uh, or 30 seconds, I think it was, to basically try and land a hit on him. Santiago was the last one to try and was inevitably the only one to land any hit on him at all. And they because were Because we saw him up. Although Lucas's creativity was also rewarded. Um, what else happened? I'll get into the whole, the more important thing in a second. Was there anything else that happened in the small turn? We met a person, we met so. the, the lion man. What the man made of lines who said we have met him before, even though we never oh, yeah. recognized him. That that's important. Um, the man, the group pretty also, important, but I also don't know how to explain him. <laughs> uh, the group also encountered a weird blind man who was leaning on a non-existent table, started talking to the group as if he knew them, and then disappeared. And that was the end of that. Uh, and most importantly, Lucas, uh, two Lucases, fell out of the sky. Um, as the group were traveling along, suddenly they heard the noise of two young boys screaming their heads off and looked up to see a flaming, crashing airship falling uh, out of the sky. One that's 12 4 and one that's the correct height. Yeah. Um, so the group has reunited somewhat. We also have uh, a Aaron giant Cicino. with an egg. Yes. They have that as well. Santiago better watch out. Um, what else happened? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, at the end of our session, last session, the group finally made their way and arrived at the capital of Seaflight, uh, where an arrow proceeded to uh, flip out of the forest and land quite solidly in a tree next to them that simply had the note made you look on it, which the group promptly ignored and continued on their way to the capital. <laughs> I did not ignore. I'm keeping a fucking lookout if I see anyone else. Yeah. Oh, Ain't you look. Okay. Gone. Might as well not have happened. Um. So now, you guys have reached the capital, the port sea flight. Um, it's a quite a large one. As I said before, it is the current capital. Uh, the previous capital is actually set up in the mountains of this region, but it's been moved down to here for ease of access and trading with the rest of the truck conglomerate after that was established. Lore. Um, however, all you need to know is that it's quite a large city with thousands of inhabitants. Um, the actual entrance is actually quite close to the sea because it wraps around like a large, uh, I don't know what to call it, but basically it's like an inlet where the That's pieces exactly of land. That's exactly what it's called. Yeah, the pieces of land kind of come out at sea and go like this back into the land. So there's a large body of water that basically the land encircles and has kind of an exit point. At the very deep. But you guys kind of enter in and quite quickly after just a little bit of walking, you are already at the water. And as you come in, there have been fireworks going off. It, it's getting it's somewhat late at night. It's, it's 9 or Santiago 10. Santiago a little bit because they are a part horse. <laughs> Yeah, there's lights everywhere, there's noises, there's laughing, there's music, there's all sorts of activities going on. And you've actually arrived, quite luckily for you, on uh, not the first day, but close uh, to the first, the beginning of the week, 
when the festival kind of starts. So there have been activities going on pretty much every single day, a different activity per day. So you're all here, the scent of delicious foods completely foreign to all of you. A walk through the streets, um, the sound of children laughing and adults playing and all sorts of different noises and all sorts of different races, people from all around, all coming together from every, pretty much every major city and a lot of smaller towns uh, arriving in Seaflight to celebrate this festival and eventually the passing of the nobles to this area. Um, there are some games if you guys want to enjoy them over the next week or so. Maybe you can get up to some more... Uh, less respectable activities include well, lots of criminals come here as well, and lots of other people. Uh, certain underhanded types like to use the festival as cover, because uh, even the guards are being quite whacked until the day of the nobles. Then everything goes up by uh, But until then, rules are kind of let down for the next few days. Everyone's in a much more relaxed kind of state. Their alcohol is being passed around quite freely, despite age. Um, and it's it's generally just a good time. Some places reduce prices in order to bring in guests. Some places increase prices in order to really take advantage of the situation. Uh, but all in all, it's it's probably the biggest festival any of you have been to. Uh, Spire Elf has had some pretty good ones, Yui, but uh, there's something about this atmosphere of the port town that really is different and a bit more jovial. <sighs> uh, so you click on roll 20. You don't have to, but roll 20 would help the situation. There are some games going on, and you can see lots of people around you talking, chatting, having fun. Um, anyone here you could really go up and talk to, or you could just kind of explore the place yourself if you want to. Uh, or you could just wait it out and skip ahead to when you guys find more interesting occasions or interesting activities to do. I have a question. <laughs> you you just tore my guns. Do you, you need to have control of yourself? My for Lucas. Uh, let me see if I can move both of these uh, boys. I can't touch myself now. I cannot. Yeah, I, can I, move I myself. have control of one of them, but I want the other one. Yeah, I can, I, I'm all good. I have control of the correct one. Justin, give me the other Lucas. <laughs> it's I, not I fair. Can't, I want both of them. I can't select myself. Oh, right, yeah, I have a question. I have a computer, so I gave you to Maya. I, What's up? What's up? I have a lot. I have a computer. Yeah, um, Sean has a computer I, now? Are we still trying to be low-key with the whole magic thing, or like what exactly? Yes, no, we're no, exactly. Yes. It's fine. No, no, no. Do not uh, listen to Justin. I'm yes, not listening. We're still to trying to be <laughs> very much low-key. Okay. Yes, we are very much still trying to be low-key. Magic incognito. Go all out. Use we're magic if you're. All use magic if you're plot. a sorcerer. Use magic if you're a sorcerer. It can be subtle about it. <laughs> I'm. I so do not know how to do magic, but I am. Um, Snake. Well, you'll be fine. Then you'll be fine. Um, yeah, as long I as you're you wearing your cloak. You oh. So, um, all this is going on, and you guys have entered into here, and immediately there's a few things that catch your eye. Uh, there's a park off to the left that seems honestly a, a considerably a quieter, uh, tame. Uh, however, that does seem to be the source of the fire. So there's someone or some group in the, in the park off to the left that seems to be firing up the fireworks into the sky, which are currently exploding and kind of crackling with these beautiful colors that sparkle through the sky. Um, kind of taking precedence over the stars, honestly. Uh, right to your right, you can see a uh, darker-skinned Ooh, woman nice. uh, who seems very large and um, tall who uh, and quite robust, shall we say. Um, and it seems to be kind of like parading around and like uh, almost like kind of gesturing at the building and shouting at people and like saying, come on in, come on in. Uh, directly in front of you, you can see this large kind of circular area. Uh, wooden boards have seemed to be put down in order to uh, keep the blood off the stone and the carpets beneath it. Uh, the stone walling around that's quite short, and you can see a man in a blue hood spitting around a few swords quite recklessly. Um, you can immediately tell he doesn't seem that talented with them in actual combat, uh, but he is spitting them around in quite a good show. Uh, in front of him seems to be almost like a fighting pit, like I said earlier, although no one seems to be fighting at the moment. Uh, they do seem to be arguing quite intensely. Uh, there's a few shopkeepers directly in front of you, including this kind of like humble, like human boy, uh, as well as a kenku, which are quite rare. Um, especially down here, you've not seen a kenku yet on the lower 
Um, all the way to the front, you can see the ports. Uh, only one dock seems to have a ship in at the moment, at least close to where you guys are. Uh, you can see some more ships down to the left and to the right. Uh, but that one seems to be the closest. It actually seems to have some people talking and working. Um, there are some more things around if you want to explore a little. What are you all doing? Well, this looks to be quite lovely. More for the explosions going off every five seconds. Hmm. Heading <laughs> off Santiago's PTSD. <laughs> P- Santiago's got PTSD? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Post-traumatic horse. Uh, I imagine I'm just following the other Lucas while uh, raspily writing down something in my journal. Like, I'm very quickly writing it down. Like, I'm trying to finish writing it. Kind of wandering into town? Huh? Are you just kind of wandering into town? Uh, I'm following wherever, wherever Marcel is going. Sticking relatively close by. He's just kind of, he's not really moving too much from the group. Yeah, I'm just kind of standing there like halfway, like, like writing, kind of like, I'm very, I'm very, I'm distressed writing. Why are you distressed writing? Because I'm like, I want to focus on what's going on, but I realize I haven't written anything down this week and I have a lot to think about. Just can't focus on one thing. Uh, and I'm Ren reminding is actually the myself first one. Thanks. Ren's actually the first one who kind of speaks. Up. She's like, uh, "Well, I'm going to go ahead. Um, if you enjoy the atmosphere for a few days, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't find anyone, any sort of transportation for uh, our future plans." Oh, that that sounds like a good idea. All right. We should find a place we can stay. Get back up in case we. Up again too. Sounds good. Um, we'll find the nearest tavern to here, and we'll agree to meet up there. Of course. Uh, so sounds fine. good. Sounds good then. Uh, have a good time, I suppose. <laughs> oh, I safe. so want to take a look at some of these shops and some of the games going around. Uh, you say that, Yui, and you seem to cast the attention of this guy here. And he's like, hello, I, you, you said you wanted to check out some of the stuff around here. Mm-hmm. Of How are you doing? Uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm set up near the festival to uh, try and get some uh, get some people coming around, get some word out about my shop. Uh, I have jewelry, I have armor, I have weapons all from uh, all handcrafted best blacksmith in the uh, around. Uh, in a small town. Um, I'm looking at wares. Hmm. I have lots of stuff. I've got buckets, shovels, uh, a pickaxe. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Might have already been sold, I'll have to check. Don't take my <laughs> word for it. Well, aren't you quite the charming man? Uh, because yes! Yes, I am! <laughs> Especially charming with this beautiful bracelet I found made. Oh, may I take uh, a look? Um, a tarnished kind of silver. It's not that nice, it's okay. It's probably not worth that much. Uh. It, it's, it's embroidered, though, it's got like some... Mm, oh, jewels hmm. set into it. It's not <laughs> terrible, but it's not exactly cool. Hmm. My, how lovely. Unfortunately, my friends and myself need to find ourselves a place to stay first for the night, but perhaps I might be back later. Well, I can help with that too. I've been around this place lots. Uh, I look this uh, fair trade. Give me two silver. That's it, two silver. I'll tell you where to find a nice place. Best place around, in fact. Can I tell if he's telling the truth or lying? Yeah, sure. Yui, he's asking you for money to give you some general information. I will tell you exactly where to find it. Give you precise directions, and I'll hand it over, and I'll tell you instantly. It'll be for all of you. It's not not some scam, not some some (laughs) shindig. Uh, I'm going to go roll an investigation check to go find uh, a decent place, Justin. Uh, Sure, hold on. Before you do that, though, Yui, uh, did you roll your insight? I didn't hear you say roll inside, so I'm doing it right oh, now. Okay. But I had a feeling. <laughs> I'm going to suggest to the other Lucas that we go find somewhere simultaneously while we kind of look around. So we're going to go uh, together. That's a 16 plus 5, so that's a 21. Well, he seems to be incredibly earnest, but there is this kind of mischievous glint in his eye where he does seem to be fucking around a little bit. You can tell <laughs> he's up to something, you just don't know what. 
You feel like you feel like he almost you, he's really wanting to tell a good joke, but can't do it until you give him like. Uh, okay. Hmm. All right. You know what? Humor me. I'm gonna give him the two silver. Oh, holy he, shit! Like, toss it over. He catches it. Um, Lucas, you see this right as you kind of recognize the place as well. And he goes, "Hey, a fair trade, I'd say." And he kind of backs up a little bit, a couple feet, and then knocks on the wood behind him. Uh, uh, just I rolled a natural twenty. Right. I rolled a natural twenty plus eight for investigation. That was rolled with advantage. Yeah, literally, as you do this, you, you did not have to roll that high. Uh, you walk a few feet forward into kind of the main square, and immediately the lady to your right, uh, the one directly in front of the building and its lights, is literally advertising her tavern slash in to stay the night. I literally <laughs> like imagine like Lucas like is just writing in his journal. And he looks up for a couple seconds, and he's just he just looks over at you, and he goes. Oh. Yeah, so, so this guy's information to you is literally by knocking on the wood <laughs> right behind him. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, it's just a little bit of fun. Well, in any case. Uh, so Sam, what you're currently standing on with Lucas is, is not floor. That is a very small, it's a very small wall that's set up around. It only comes up to well, that I don't know these things. I'm telling you. It only comes up to you about your waist, uh, maybe a little higher, lower chest. Uh, and there's currently a guy in a blue hood kind of like dancing around on the top while a lady here seems to be playing music. Well then, Marcel, do you have any idea what you'd like to do? Because now that we've found somewhere, I was thinking about going inside and finding out how much and then jumping out. Well, he's completely ignoring you and he's walking off. What is he, he? Where is he, he walking off to? He's a nammer. He's just walking in a direction. <laughs> I'm going to walk with him in said direction. <laughs> okay, the Lucases are getting lost. <laughs> We're already going to get lost. Yui is just going to roll her eyes, turn to the merchant, be like, thank you oh. for the cl- hint, and then go inside the tavern. <laughs> uh, so Yui, you head into the tavern. Well, Lucas is immediately wandering off to cause trouble. Both um, of them. I'm not Aaron, going to yeah. trouble! <laughs> yes, Aaron, you are. Uh, sorry, Kit Kat, Santiago, and Bador. Uh, sorry, Santiago, you as well. Aaron, San- uh, Kit Kat, doing? Santiago, and Bador. What are the three of you doing? Uh, Yui's heading into the tavern. Both of the Lucases are off to call I just went straight into the tavern. <laughs> oh, as well? Okay. So you got in with Yui. Mm-hmm. Bader and Kit Kat? Probably should follow Lucas so they don't do anything. <laughs> I hate that y'all assume that I'm here to cause fucking trouble. They actually there's get some There's two of you! Yeah, there's two of me. It's not that my fucking fault. I don't think... I don't think... I don't think it's assumed that you're gonna cause trouble. I think it's assumed that trouble's going to... You're gonna find me. Trouble's gonna find you. Uh, okay, so Vader's going off of Lucas. Uh, what is I'll, Kit I'll doing? Into, yeah, what is Kit Kat doing? Because you were talking. So. I guess I'll go up towards this little center thing. That's where, like, the people were... This is like a little little battle area, whatever. You see this large orcish man um, doing with this small dwarf and this very twinky human man. Um, just kind of like all three of them arguing with each other. Uh, the two, the human and the dwarf, seem to be on the same side. Uh, while the, or, the orc is kind of angrily just shouting expletives at the two of them. Um, mm-hmm. While other people are just kind of watching and enjoying the argument. What is her strength and constitution? Oh, why are you what asking are me that? Okay, my strength is a 17 and my constitution is a 16. Okay, um, you kind of like head up a little bit towards this waist high. Waist high for some most people, not waist high for you. <laughs> uh, and this orc, this large kind of like burly green man kind of like sees you and he turns his two large tusks protruding and he's like, Oi, you, get in here, you'll do. Yeah, you. Oh God. <laughs> see, see, the problem is, is that Kit Kat knows that he probably shouldn't, because of the fact that we're trying to be low key and not be like, you know, because I am the most recognizable. But Kit is also like. He also is like, ooh, ooh. You could win uh, some so money. Just, could. I guess I'll just kind of like go up there and just kind of stand there and be like, uh, what? 
What? <laughs> now. Um, so you're kind of just standing next to him now. He kind of like you kind of like go over the wall and he grabs you by the scruff of your uh, oh my god uh, without pulling the hut down and he kind of like drags you into place, basically lifting you off the ground. Um, and the guy in the blue hood is kind of like dancing with these two swords. Is like oh, perfect. So you found a replacement. What was the last guy? Experienced hooded person, very well. As teamwork is an intrinsic part of our little challenge here. Maya, I think you know, need to go save Kit. <laughs> wait, 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 Vader. Wait, one in second. The tavern, Fine. You... What? Did you did you ever finish the the attachment yeah, of the net? The javelin did get finished. Yeah, it's it's good now. It's been finished. Oh, okay. You do immediately notice here. No one in this, and no one in this area, and I don't think you do either. No one is wearing, and no one has weapons on. Uh, okay. Uh, in fact, as you're kind of like there, um, the man in the blue hood is like, "Oh, hold on, we can't start with this. You, uh, put your weapon over there. Don't worry, we'll keep a very close eye on it." Yeah, we wouldn't want anybody else to get a hold of that. <laughs> give it to Bader. You could give it to Bader. I like Bader's it, looking for Lucas just- though. No, he's With following me around. Lucas yeah, so is here. here. So yeah, Lucas yeah, Lucas is gone. I'll sit Buttercup on top of it. He can stand and watch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first fight for the night. If you continue oh. on, you can continue into rounds past and into the further week as you go, earning reward for every battle you and your team succeed in. Uh... <laughs> so, is uh, it Hell Ninja Warrior? Are we about Aaron, to not. see the model? No, it is a oh. rough and tumble. Like, you, you, Aaron, you see um, the, the thin man is like wrapping his hands in like bandages. Oh. And oh. the stocky dwarf looks like he's getting fucking ready for pounding. Uh, is, well, this is happening. Is this, is this a fist fight? Yes. It's a fist fight! It, fight is, a, it is a two person fist fight. Oh, oh boy! Guys, <laughs> been roughly pulled into the fray. Uh, Yui and Santiago, you two enter this tavern, and it is alive. There are people all over, including this little like what you think are uh, mixture of halflings, gnomes, and dwarves running around. A, they're not much. There's only like three or four. Is Tobacious here? Holding some like egg may having kind of like more excitement. Very lively and very bright atmosphere for terror. Um, the stench, I guess you could say, of alcohol and booze and ale uh, is kind of wafting through the entire area. The mix, sort of disgustingly, sort of with the scent of festival junk food. Uh, just hunts of meat, uh, pies, sweets, all sorts, uh, along with a bunch of people in the tavern kind of like playing music and dancing along. None of it especially talented or special, but everyone's having fun. Um, <laughs> is there like a, a sort of cork board or like a message, job board, any sort of things where people might? Uh, yes, there is, but currently uh, there's not a lot. It looks like most of it's been cut up or taken down. Mm. Uh, you have a feeling that during um, other weeks and times of the year, when there isn't so much celebration and festivities, uh, it's probably a lot fuller, given the many uh, holes from corks and many scraps of paper that have been left hanging to this thing. Uh, but currently, it looks like most people have taken it down, although there are a couple. I, I'm, I'm going to look behind me for Lucas, and then I'm going to realize he's not there, and I'm just going to be like, <laughs> Of course, yeah, Lucas decides to wander off at the mo- w- w- most inopportune time. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, Santiago, but I think we should probably see if we can get ourselves a room, f- a few rooms for the night before we go off and have some fun of our own. Yeah, the problem is we need money for that. Well, let's see what they're offering. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, if you head up to like, the bar counter? Mm hmm. Uh, there's loads of patrons here. <laughs> yeah, it's a really intimidating. Uh, there's loads of people here. There's someone on like every bar stool. And as you kind of approach, uh, there is this very flustered and very exhausted 
uh, looking woman. She looks very young, and she kind of like, uh, kind of like, runs up to you with plates in her hand, and then goes and then runs back down the other side of the bar, stuffs the pay the the, uh, the plates and shit under the counter, and then runs back to you and is like, "What can I do for you here?" I ask, what are your rates for rooms this evening? During the festival, uh, it'll be one gold piece uh, for uh, one bed. Uh, a gold piece and five silver for a two-bedroom, um, and two gold pieces for three beds in one room. Hmm. Okay. Nine, one, two. Three. What pieces? I know. Uh, one, one moment. Uh, she kind of like rushes over and seeing something, and like starts tending to something out. Uh, but she sees you like like trying to like get her attention. She like rushes back at you like, sorry, what, what did you say? Uh, could we get basically the equivalent that uh, that the six gold is? We have people uh, with us who are currently not here. So, so if you get two rooms with three beds, because there's there's five of you, right? Or right. Ren as well, six. or six of you. Or with no, there's six Ren, of us with, with Luke, Ren with two and the Lucas. second Lucas. No, with everyone and Ren and the second Lucas. That's actually seven. Mm-hmm. And everyone and the second Lucas and Dareth, who hasn't come into town. By He's staying out. Of town. He has not. He's probably. I would imagine he's probably decided like he's going to f- go find like trees outside of town to sleep in. Yeah. So not him. So there's actually seven of you. Um, you can get two rooms with three beds each. Sorry, you can get uh, two rooms with three beds each for um only four gold. Uh, and for a seventh person, I think you said um that'll be another gold per p- uh, piece. Or you could uh get I don't know uh. Several rooms. It's up to you, really. Three beds. We can put three people in two rooms, and then Santiago gets his own room for horse. For because horse. Okay, we'll go with five gold then. Okay. Um, uh, do you want me to show you to your rooms now or later? Uh. Hmm. You seem to be very busy right now. Why don't you give us the key and we'll find them? Sounds good. Um, she kind of like digs around. That she like kind of opens some boxes and some drawers, and she takes the gold from you and kind of like puts it into this kind of like you, you can't really see behind it, but there is the sound of gold Clinking hitting gold, keys. shall we say? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And she kind of pulls out several uh, keys with these long leather strips on them, uh, which have her room number on them. But she kind of gives them to you. She's like, "Here you go, here you go." Uh, rooms five, six, and seven. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> no problem. Uh, come back anytime. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she rushes off to tend to more people. Uh, All right. You guys got the rooms. We're probably going to jump to the two Lucases next to see what they're doing. And Vader. Yeah, what are we up to? <laughs> uh, so uh, where have the three... So this Lucas has kind of wandered down this kind of We've alley We've just gone here. in a direction. Yeah. Uh, you kind of pass by. Uh, this lady here you. seems to be treating a downed and currently vomiting orc. He's falling into this large bucket that is full of holes and crap. And uh, he's looking quite sadly at Kit Kat, who you can now see seems to be amongst several other people in a strange... Uh, you're not really sure what that's about, but he looks quite sad. And he's like, I'm sorry. Don't know me, Gunnett. Uh, and the lady next to him is tending, him, tending to him. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, yeah. What, what? There's no point in that. There's there's yeah. nothing I can do. For that. Uh, ahead of you, there is this heavily, um, imagine World of Warcraft, and imagine the most ridiculous, unrealistic, overly layered, overly decorated set from World of Warcraft. There is a man in that. He's not wearing a helmet, but he has these pauldrons with these ridiculously large spikes. Uh, the armor itself is covered in crests and embellishments, and there's like little like there's like like tips of gold on like every single thing. And this chest plate has like two like red glowing eyes in the front. It doesn't look practical at all. It looks like if he was in a fight and he bent his head to the side too quickly, he'd impale himself. <laughs> but it looks very fancy and very cool. Uh, and she's standing in front of this large glass tube. And there's a few people in front of him, not a huge amount. Um, there's a few people in front of him, and in, in this glass tube, there seems to be some kind of small creature, you'd almost say. It, it almost looks like a jellyfish-ish. Not, not that any of you know what that is. 
Uh, but it almost looks like a jellyfish with two long stalks and eyes at the end. And it's just kind of floating around in the water. And the man in front is like, Test your strength! See if you can meet with the mighty Baalhazor! And he puts up his arm. And uh, next to the large tube is this e- the comically large hammer. Uh, and he's kind of like, he's like gesturing to it, like, Test your hey, strength! Hey, Bader! Hey, Bader, do it! I want to see what uh, I want to see what Vader's Vader got going is on, the bro. Strongest member of the party. Yeah, you know. Yeah, se- he's third because strong. Because neither Lucas is gonna be like, yeah, that's not my thing. Right, anyone who dares, you're all just a bunch of cowards, a bunch of gumdrops. Your mother was a caramelized apple. I'm pretty sure Kid Kill would actually beat this man. <laughs> I'm busy though. <laughs> yeah, you're busy. I like how the two Lucases and Beta are all soul that uh, Aaron has got uh, Kit Kat has gotten themselves into a situation and just completely ignored their play. Kit Kat's just looking at me like, 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 help me! Uh, We're just Sam, like... The other Lucas <laughs> is into it. He's run up and he's like, I'll do it! Oh no, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stand behind him and go... I don't you know need what? the... <gasps> Look, we'll never know unless we try. I just encouraged you. <laughs> Encouragement, I'm sure. I said do it! Uh, okay, let's actually see what he gets. Um, so. His stats might have changed, so I actually don't know. Uh, the large man is like, oh, 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 a young competitor, I see. Put an amount of gold on the, on the table, and if you can win, you'll win double or triple, even quadruple, potentially, the amount of gold you set down. Um, I don't think he actually has any gold on his person. He doesn't. Uh, so he kind of, he looks at, uh, Lucas, and he looks at Bador, uh, quite pleading. Do you not know what gambling is? <laughs> you have to. You've read the same book. It is. But, uh, you never know, I could win. I am taller than you. It doesn't <laughs> matter that you're taller than me. Taller means that Justin, I have better do, leverage. This... Taller means that I have better leverage in my legs and arms. Therefore, uh, I am can stronger. I roll... Can I roll investigation to kind of get how this game works? Sure. You hit it. That is a 15 plus 8. Um, next to the large man is a very heavy, comically large hammer or maul. Um, and right in front of it seems to be uh, a bellows, which you use to stoke the fire, um, attached to the glass tank. You hit it, and the harder you hit it, the higher the weird creature that tank will. Okay, so uh, I'm alongside just that, there mechanically- are there is like there is like a few different like signs on the side of the tank that have like different like strength levels. Uh, Justin, I'm asking mechanically now with Sammy, how does this game work? Because if I can, I will use my abilities to my advantage to give Luke, to give Marcel better things. What's your portents for the day? My portent for the day is a 20, so... I'd say it's not a subtle. Maybe if you hid and, like, did it to, like, in your hiding, you could do that. But I think right now, you have to be I'm gonna toss him two. Two gold, and I'm gonna tell him give it a shot. And I'm going to slash my portent of the day, and he's going to roll a twenty no matter what. Oh shit! Really? I had a twenty sitting around. I just gave the boy a crit. Why are you using it on this? Because Um, I love I love my boy. So two gold. This is basically a guaranteed success. You only threw him two gold. Okay. Then how? And I feel like I'm gonna toss him two gold, and then be like. Uh, let's start with five. Okay, so you gave me, so, uh, in actuality, it is a little big. Um, so he had disadvantage in the attack. Um, however, uh, he kind of lifts it up, and, uh, the large man is like, Oh, we have a challenger, I see. Five gold, if you can make it all the way to the top, I'll give you fifteen. Um, and Lucas kind of grabs this large ham, or, sorry, Marcel, grabs this very large ham, and he, like, struggles to lift it and eventually he kind of like he kind of like lets go and then he like shifts his position I imagine like when he uses his portent Lucas just like winks okay well your portent like, very small, help him subtle actually thing. in his strength yeah 
Uh, so he kind of like kind of sidles over to a uh, crab and like puts his leg at the very end of the heavy hammer and puts his like hands in the heavy hands and uses all of his strength and levers to like lift it up and then it falls back on his shoulder. I'll tell you, he actually did roll for this. He got a one. Um, <laughs> and he kind of like slips and like is about to fall and land on his face, but magically with your portrait, you see it just so. And you just kind of give him a little, little, little temporal nudge, and instead of falling directly on his face, he kind of slips and accidentally uses all of his strength and plus gravity, plus his entire body, and basically falls onto the bellows at the bottom of the tube. And <laughs> the creature inside just kind of like shoots up to the top of the and it starts like wiggling around. And what you think is excitement, you're not sure what it is. And the kind of large man gives like a really, oh, oh, oh good job. I, not sure that was entirely of skill, but luck is just as important in a, in a true adventure. Remember that, young one. And he kind of pats himself in the head as if, like, as if he was like, a really young child. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll be an adventurer like me. Uh, what is this <laughs> creature? Like, what? We don't what know what is it is. Well, I will tell you, but it's a flaw. Uh, oh and he kind of like he kind of drinks into his pack, pulls out fifteen gold. And it's like if you like to go again, you could make thirty if you succeed. I look at time. I look at I look at Marcel, really and I I look at Marcel, and kind of a way of looking at him is just like don't do this. I don't do this. Like I'm not Romy, even gonna try Romy to a, convey. Romy a hard persuasion. <sighs> okay. The other one seems to be. The other Lucas seems to be quite emboldened by his luck. <laughs> That's an 18 plus 4? Okay, he's like, I just did it! I called you! I'm like giving him a look of like, why don't you spend that somewhere else? There's more things to do here. We haven't eaten today. Um, but he's like, but I just, I, look, if I did this again, Look, I just did it, okay? I am refusing. I, I, feel like Bader knows, I feel like Bader knows what I did, but I am refusing to tell him that I did something. And I'm like, If I do this again and I get even more, if I get even more, we can get some really cool stuff. I think we should get out before you lose it all. Never know. What happens? What are you going to do if we lose it then? Exactly what Bader's saying. Mm. Win more. Marcel we is getting addicted anything. to gambling. Marcel. Oh, no. Marcel. I'm gonna like walk up to him and I'm gonna and I'm gonna like put my I'm gonna put my hands on his shoulder and I'm gonna go. Look, I understand perfectly well. I'm saying that if you lose it, I'm not going to give you any more. Otherwise, I'm gonna drag you away from it. Okay. Okay. Whatever. I promise. I won't do this. Let me. I'm watching uh, you. Both of you roll me I'm a I'm walking perception. behind him. What do you mean? Oh, uh, you're walking behind him, but you can plainly see that he has his fingers crossed before he realizes that you're walking behind him, and he immediately puts it in his phone. Grab. What? I know when you're lying. I know when you're lying. So I'm therefore, not, you're we're standing well. at the same thing. I know you're not. Come now, we have. Oh. There are more things than just this. He kind of like he's like, oh, fine. Uh, where? And so uh, the man kind of continues like gesturing, and I, uh, I kind of like gesture to other people along the street. Uh, where are the three of you heading now? I look at Bader in a kind of a sim in a similar way of you know what I did, don't you? Yeah, he nods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, the other Lucas is kind of like stalking ahead, a little annoyed, but also very still interested. Um, oh, you'll be fine. We've never. There's plenty of other things to do. Uh, just uh, so, so you guys hear some shouting coming from the center of the street. Um, it seems like something's going down. That little circle, Kit Kat is. Um, oh no! There's some shouting and some noises as like a, a, a larger crowd is beginning to like gather around it. Uh, a larger crowd's kind of gathering around and people are starting to clap now. The music from that little that bar up there is getting a little more frenzied and a little more climatic. And people are really starting to gather to watch. Uh, Aaron, this is currently happening. Uh, we'll get to you in just a second. Just get ready. Oh. <laughs> this 
Santiago and you, what are the two of you doing? So are you still the tavern? Or are you- uh, well, I imagine that after Yui gets the keys, she gives Santiago uh, their key. Um, and then she's like, well, I don't know about you, Santiago, but I'm going to go out and have a little bit of fun. Festivals like this are usually the best time to start bringing in the bread, if you know what I mean. You, oh, Cole, do yeah, you, oh, Cole, are you going to use the tactic I told you about? To. Because it's pretty good. M- maybe. It would be good. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I said um, I, I should start looking for something to do. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also find out where everyone else went so fast. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I imagine they might be doing some stuff in the games. <laughs> Uh, so you say that and as you're stepping out to the streets, and immediately the both of you notice uh, Lucas is across the streets. Um, Bay along with Bader are going to watch his um, And in the middle, there is this really loud ruckus. More and more people are slowly gathering and kind of like coagulating around this center. And there's a club yeah. tiefling and man. You see, Aaron, do you want to describe how confused Kitai is currently? <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's kind of just standing there, like he knows what's going on, but he also is like, I didn't eat anything to this man, and he immediately dry And then Buttercup is over on the side, sitting on top of his like weapons, like get him, get him, like just yell, <laughs> kill him. <laughs> like he just know. He's like, what? <laughs> um, the orc beside you is like cheering. He's got a both of his. Raised in the L, uh, air muscles rippling. Uh, the tiny the dwarf over here, um, you see this little gnome on top of this tent stall over here jump down, go into the stall, and grab a chair and then throw it into the ring. Um, which the dwarf promptly lifts up over his head as he prepares to use it as a weapon. Excuse me, I thought we were supposed to have weapons. Uh, the blue cloaked guy, let me find a dice to roll. Here it is. That's not fair. Sees this happen. Kind of seems to think for a second and then shrugs. <laughs> Why not? It's a chair, not a weapon. It's a it's a improvised it weapon. It's a chair. Kit, um, is there anything around that Kit can use? Wind, like again, broken wood, like broken five, like wood piles. Justin, four, I'm asking you a question. Three. Uh, I am not this close really. to ripping out one of those stupid floorboards. I'm gonna smack a little man with it. Rip up a floorboard! Rip up a floorboard! Rip it up! <laughs> should grab the dwarf and use him as a weapon. <laughs> grab him from the other end of the chair and just smack him. Um Kit, grab the chair. And then you uh, it with him attached so, to it as a Lucas weapon. yelling? So both of the Lucas's, uh, both the Lucas's are just Diago. like. You're all watching. Okay. As like the tiny I'm little gonna, nose like, jumps and, off um, of the tent and throws a chair into the ring. I'm going to nudge the other Lucas and be like, all right. I'm, I'm going to watch this. Same. <laughs> I'm like right. looking at Kate and I'm pointing to the floorboards and then making this motion. Right. Grab it, like, right. basically, like, grip at the floorboards. How secure is Kitka's cloak? <laughs> yeah, how? Aaron, hmm. how, how, throw me a, throw me a, it's probably a straight D20. Just a straight D20? Okay, I'm gonna do it through bold Just 20. Just a straight D20. Somewhat secure. It's well, not like it's not like amazing, but it, it should be okay unless someone actually actively grabs at it. It's gonna happen. Which they may do. It's hung up on the horns yeah. just nicely. Rip up the wow, floor. Wow, that makes him look even taller if it's all the way on the top of the. Oh it does. God. Wow, big man. Um. Uh, the the announcer yeah, is currently I, counting down. If you're gonna do something, do it right now. I. Am I allowed to rip up a floorboard? Do you think they would be like, don't do that? Uh, I mean, I brought a chair. Fuck it. Wait, is there anything out of the arena that we can throw in there to help pick up? There's some chairs, stools, uh, barrels. Somebody throw me something. Can I find a stool that nobody's (laughs) sitting on? Uh, Sure, yeah. Uh, Roll me an investigation check. Oh, that's that's not the right check. You should ask me about that. I thought of a horrible a, idea. That's, that's a twenty-one. Oh, okay, yeah, you, okay. you find like a stool. You're pretty sure um, it's actually no. You find the vomit bucket the other orc was using. 
I pick it up and I immediately run and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> just gonna throw it in. I give it to Kit. I'm giving Kit the oh. bucket. <laughs> Santiago, Yui, Bader, you all see this very clearly. And Kit got Lucas runs up and just hands you this bucket. And for some reason, it stinks really bad. It has something leaky out of it. <laughs> and so you look a little closer, and it is just filled to the brim with this just disgusting I, I, alcohol. I kind, of, I kind of walk off to the side a little bit and like dump, dump it, dump it out. That would be really gross. No, you should use you it. Should no. You should use it. You should dump it onto the enemy. Somebody. Oh, oh Come God. On. Tip it over onto someone's head. And you know it's bad if you even kick. I think it's too gross. <laughs> you want to just give it uh, the vomit Woo! bucket? Oh, your idea? That was my <laughs> idea. Oh. Sorry, Sean. No, it's okay. Oh, Sean, your idea worked out in the end. It did. Okay, uh, Aaron, you haven't dumped it up quite yet. You're probably moving over to do it. But as you're doing it, the uh, guy in the blue hood is like dancing around, basically prancing Aaron's along the side of this wall. Aaron's camera is turning green. Uh, he's basically prancing along the side the of this wall, wall, like on his toes, uh, spinning these swords in his hand, and these wild gesticulations, being as showy as possible. And he's starting to count down five, four, three, make sure to grab your hats for two. Uh, is anyone uh, else going to do anything? No. Mm -hmm. Wait, is are, oh. is anyone making bets on this fight? Oh yeah, there are there are some bets. Okay. Do you I'm wanna, gonna put, do you I'm gonna put five gold on Kika. Who is the strongest currently... looking competitor? I'm pretty sure it's Kit. Uh, you yeah. look over here. This this probably happened like just a few minutes ago. Uh, Cole. Uh, but the bets are currently going down over here with this lady in the green. Who is the strongest looking competitor? Please say Kit. Uh her. Um, well, Pretty, yeah. Uh, okay. All of them look very established, shall we say. They all look like they've been through a good few scrapes. You're not really super able to like immediately ascertain who's really the strongest one. Mm. Just so you know, we, it is not going to go by your actual health pool, because if it did, this would take 50 rounds without our <laughs> Uh, so Kitka is actually uh, Kitka's team is actually uh, the lower end. So you're gonna get a double return on this, or you could bet on Kitka's team or Kitka specifically. So the way it works is if Kitka is the last one left up, you'll get even more. Um, if their partner is down but Kitka still wins, you'll get even more. Or you could bet on Kitka's team in general, meaning if they're both still up or the other one wins or whatever. Then you'll get a little less, but you'll still win. Or, uh, well, no, those are the two options. So, do you want to bet on huh. Kitka specifically or Kitka's team? What makes more money? Uh, I'll bet on Kitka specifically, actually. Okay, so that means that you only get you'll you'll get your main payout, or you'll only get your payout, right? If the guy goes down, if Kitka's teammate goes down, but Kitka is still up and wins. Oh, but what if but he doesn't go that down? that payout will be huge. If he doesn't go down, you do not get a pay. Aaron, roll me initiative. Let's pass. You want me to roll for you, Aaron? I have dice right here. Yeah, you roll better than I do anyways. Uh, my initiative's plus... Holy shit, that's a nat 20! I'm not kidding! Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm not kidding! I rolled the dice uh -oh. and it landed on 20. I was like, fuck me! Uh -oh. <laughs> What's your initiative, um, Kika? 20. It's a nat 20 plus 2, so... Okay. Oh, fuck. That's a 27. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. goes okay. first! <laughs> well, that's good, because your teammate rolled a fire. Although, it's even better, because <laughs> this person rolled a fire. It's amazing, given their death. <laughs> oh, and this person rolled a... Uh, Aaron, everything kits off. The guy slams both of his swords into the stone that he's standing on. Uh, mm -hmm. The stone chips and his swords do a little as well, but he doesn't seem to care. Uh, and immediately everything's kicked off. People are shouting. Uh, they're holding flames mm -hmm. up into the air. There's there's a lot more people that are gathered around now. Uh, it's your turn. You've immediately reacted. What are you doing? Throw the throw up on somebody! <laughs> you are holding a bucket of vomit. Punch them I and then yell. dump. No, I'm gonna yell, I'm sorry, and <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 
two guys that are standing across from me just to like maybe like make it to where it's like slippery or something they fall or something oh my god i'm gonna get like, I'm gonna directly get into their eyes <laughs> <laughs> you dump it on the ground, or are you gonna throw the bucket? I'm gonna fling it like towards them. Okay, like the throwing the throw up in the in the. I think Aaron's throwing the like throwing the actual I'm vomit in the direction. In. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll say so, it's just a reaction. You just like throw the bucket into the air, not really aiming at anyone in particular, right? Oh. Yeah. And just this horrible. Black oh. zone, putting like, oh. like stomach problems, vomit just splashes everywhere, and the crowd kind of reacts to this, kind of like collective. <laughs> oh, uh, someone scrapes. <laughs> um, and you made <laughs> you splash both of them. Uh, the dwarf is really short. So you got it, like most of his lower body, and like there's like oh, stuff on his face. Oh. And dwarves are immune to poison in a very high constitution, but it's still super healthy. And he he looks pissed. Uh, that was your free <laughs> action. What are you gonna do as your action? Um, <laughs> I just square up with whoever's coming at me, man. <laughs> are you gonna run forward or wait for them to approach you? Uh, I may just wait so that I don't have to walk on it. So, Aaron, you're taking, you're ready, your action to attack. Uh, the dwarf yeah. is fucking angry. You have gotten vomit over most of his body, and he is gonna sprint at you with his tiny little body, and roll okay. and not slip on the ball. <laughs> Oops, I dropped it. Uh, unfortunately, he has a really low dice. See what he can do. Justin, how many uh, people are around me? Uh, the people on the map. Uh, do you think it's possible I could react <gasps> to impose disadvantage? Uh, you don't have to. He rolled one. Oh, um, never mind then. This <laughs> little I'm dwarf, asking it because I'm using my abilities to my power. This little dwarf who just see you can basically see steam coming out of his ears. Or maybe that's the oh, vomit no. <laughs> fucking evaporating on his skin. Uh, just sprint at you with this large squat body. Uh, but his legs, oh, they're too stubby. They're really oh, no. short. He's got real strong thighs, real strong knees, but they're just too short. And he ends up because you know, he slips and his feet go up, his head goes down, and he slams on his back, kind of sliding the rest of his way to you over this oh, no. uh, Knock days as he loses his action. Uh, next is going to be their friend who's going to take it a little more carefully. But it's also going to sprint. He's also going to run it. He's going to run around to the ring and attack you around the pool of vomit, uh, which I am going to oh, okay. quickly. I'm going to say it's like this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, that's a good push. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh, this one runs around and attacks you. Uh, what's your AC, Aaron? My AC is 10 plus my debt. Okay, so wait, two... Ten plus your dex, plus your plus, con. Okay, one, one second. Two plus three... Five. So, it's fifteen. Okay, so fifteen. Uh, this person yeah. hits the first attack, and misses with the second. How um, much damage, so they Justin? Are, they're a low-level monk, so let's see. That is six damage that you take, Aaron. Got it. As uh, their Zim. attacks aren't very powerful or sturdy, mm. but they're fast and they're accurate. And they kind of like jam their fingers into your side, uh, which doesn't really hurt mm. too much, but it suddenly knocks the breath out of you and you feel like almost they, they hit something important. Uh, your orc friend is going to kind of like carefully step into the vomit and just kick the dwarf while he's down. <laughs> <laughs> kick him oh while he's down! Yeah, the orc is just immediately going to take advantage and just try and ram his leg into the laying down door. Uh, oh while God. laughing as he's doing it. Uh, he's going to have, actually, he has an advantage to hit. And he'll... Yeah, so he just, definitely I, fucking hits. Do you wow. think if I hit behind Lucas, I would be able to perform, I would be able to somewhat subtly perform my runes? So, <laughs> maybe, no. but like, yeah, you're, like, you're going to have to like, Really, roll a good stuff deck. You might be safe. Mm. 
You no. don't have to roll anything for me to win. Do not believe in my natural exactly. ability. Exactly, I know. Uh, okay, wait, so have I had my turn yet? Did I get to punch anybody uh, yet? Yeah, you just did. Hold on, you, you wow. are, uh, your, your orc boy is uh, doing stuff. Uh, he hits oh. the dwarf. Oh, shit. Both times, and he's going to do okay. a good amount of damage. Just picking this dwarf while he's on the ground. Uh, it is your turn again, Aaron. Okay, um, uh, I guess... Is on your equipment. He's currently screaming to be a father. I'm going to yell back at it and I'm like, I'm going to do it! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody Go just hears me yelling. And... <laughs> Both locusts are like just... fucking chanting. They're they're just like chanting hearing, names. Hearing me yell and snake to move. <laughs> to my other side. All right, so I'm gonna hit him. I guess try to hit the monk guy. Okay. Both locusts are one... just chanting and going fuck him up. I want me to hit. Uh, Sam, Sammy, you want to roll for me? All right, you want to roll it's to hit? Plus six I got to you. Hit. Plus six to okay. hit, which I fucking got you. <sighs> I have a legitimate question. What's up? Would Yui's cheering be able to be used to cover her casting bardic inspiration? Yeah, I was yes. actually just about to ask. Lucas is also Lucas is also chanting. Both of them are chanting. Oh Fuck God. him up. Yeah. So very so, loudly. So, so spells are very obvious, unless you're a sorcerer. Um, runes are still using a magic component in order to do this. You activate a rune by tracing it or whatever, you know, flavor, but it's still used to do something. Bardic inspiration is not a spell and it's not technically magical. It's just oh. inspiration. Oh, so it's just pure mm. motivation. Then yeah. I want to do it. I want to do it. <laughs> that is, that is an Aaron. Wait, wait, that is a 17 wait. plus 6. Two so hits. 23. No, that's only on saving throws. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, Aaron, you can attack twice. No, they so, can add um, that. They can add that damage to their um. They can add that to their damage, Cole. No, I actually had a no. I had a question about something different that I was looking at because I also have unsettling words. Would that affect the opponent in any way? What is unsettling words? It only does it unsettling. Okay, um, as a bonus action, you can spend one use of your bardic inspiration. Choose one creature that you can see within 60 feet. Roll the die. The creature must subtract the number rolled from the next saving throw it makes before the start of your next turn. So I don't think this would work in this set scenario. What At least what? with magic. But you are, it is mainly just speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. Where's bardic Cole's demotivation? Just, Cole's just screaming, fuck <laughs> like him up! Fuck him up! <laughs> uh, Sam, Aaron attacks Where? twice, by the way. Aaron attacks twice, so, so that, that was uh, 17 plus 6 uh, on the first hit. I beat. Oh, on, just on the first hit? Oh. And that's yeah, a 19 guess. plus 6 on the second hit. Aaron, uh, do you want to describe you attacking them or so? <laughs> I'm, I'm just, just going to. that Sammy already rolled the, uh, the D8. <laughs> yeah, okay. Remember, you can lose the bardic inspiration. But that is a very good point. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm just I need to roll the D8 them. too because I rolled the D20 to hit. No, it says uh, I do cool. four. I'll say that. Hmm? I'll say that you're unsettling. I do four damage. Would be fun. He does four damage just because. Okay. So, so, so overall, yeah. you did eight damage. Uh, so, Cole, uh, Aaron, I'm just gonna try this for you. Uh, they kind of like run okay. up to you. Uh, you kind of like, are you attacking the thin one or the dwarf? Uh, attacking the monk guy. You're attacking the monk guy. Yeah. Bitch! Okay. Uh, you like bring a knee into their stomach, causing it to like double oh, over man. before you take your other hand and just smack it with the side of the head, uh, dazing them for just an instant. Uh, that was eight damage. The dwarf has taken. Uh, the dwarf is picking himself up off the ground. He is coated in vomit. His entire back is like soaked in it. And he looks like he's gonna retch or he's gonna retch in anger. And he kind of like awkwardly picks himself up um, before striking at the orc's groin. <laughs> oh, okay. He crits. He's, he's he so crits. slippery. He crits. He crits. <laughs> no! Both Lucas's are just like cheap shot. Oh my god. The dwarf kind of swings his hand and. It's a little crotch, and you hear this sickening. Oh. As the tool, as the orc oh. suddenly like kind of like steps backwards and begins to like fall over before catching himself, um, his cheeks puffed oh. out, tears in his eyes. 
his lip quivering. Um, the dwarf only has one attack, but that did a lot of damage. Uh, oh, the no. The dwarf is going to attack you again, Aaron. And they're going to try and trip you up. Me? Oh, they crit as well. I just got two crits. Oh my god. <laughs> Dustin, um, what about... Stop rolling, good. Wait. I want I want abilities that subtract rolls. Cole, where are they at though? Wait, wait, wait. Cole! What? Can I can I raid? I don't know what <laughs> inspiration. Yeah, what? Ah! You know, see why you couldn't. Huh? Can I raid? What did you say? What can I raid? Yeah, you can totally rage on your turn. I totally forgot we'll say that about you have that. been raging. We'll say that you've been raging. That? So that was actually so more than I take damage. half damage. It will, 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 will say that you rage at the end of your last turn. I don't want to retroactively okay. change a bunch of shit. But you do take half damage, okay. history, which is good because yeah. they crit on you and they do a lot of damage. Um, so that was five damage for their first attack, um, plus another. So that's ten damage for their first attack, and their second attack is going to win. And they got a fifteen plus their mod. That's over 20 to hit. I think they hit you as well. And they're going to do them. So that was 18 damage in total. So you take six damage as um, they kind of like kick You're at your leg. You're on seven health. So you, they kick at your leg, call you to buckle under your own weight for the instant um, before jabbing you on the shoulder on your other side. Um, this is how much health you have, Aaron. Sam. Your last experience has taught you a little bit, and you were ready for their second attack this time, and you managed to tense up your muscles in a way that it didn't hurt quite as much. Um, it is your orc friend's turn, and he's going to take his turn to oh just God. basically try and bash the dwarf's head in. Um, however, he's in quite hey. a lot of pain, so he's not going to do that before. Oh my God. Chance to Man, she get temporary oh. inspiration. He still hit. <laughs> and he's going to do how much damage was that? I think he does. Okay. Uh, he kind of bashes into the or uh, into the dwarf, uh, slamming his head. There's little vomit specks go everywhere through the air. Uh, it is disgusting, mm -hmm. and the crowd around you is beginning to chant more and more and more. Uh, Aaron, it's your turn again. I'm still gonna go for the monk guy because I guess he just. I have to punch me so much, oh, man. <laughs> oh, kit rolls so good. I love it. Both of those are oh. 15. With the plus six? Yeah, that is. Yeah, no, that's not with the plus six. That is straight out oh, 15 without. plus six, both hits. Uh, so, uh, here, that was 12 damage. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, you like jab your like fist into this tiny guy's stomach and he kind of buckles over spitting slightly uh before you kind of like take your elbow as he's kind of bent over and just slam it in his head and with this silent Ace thought he vomit. just drops to the ground in the vomit uh unconscious oh. this guy is oh <laughs> okay <laughs> Simultaneously. Oh what is God. Santiago thinking? Seeing all of this. Santiago is just hang, hanging back and and, and watching <laughs> and a little bit of a chuckle. Uh, hey. Hey. Little note over here, <laughs> the one in the green. Uh, it's, actually, no, it's half. Uh, it is an over half. Uh, whatever. Uh, they kind of jump back into their tent and they grab a plot lift and basically brings me into the door, grabs it out of the air. Uh, and holds it in front of him, uh, basically oh, using it as a shield. A plot lid, a shield or like now? a barrel lid. He's using it as a shield. Oh. Aaron, rip up that floorboard, motherfucker! It's not a shield! It's just a, 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 the top of a container! Weapon! Oh. Weapon! <laughs> Disqualified weapon! Uh, What's the matter, dwarf boy? Too scared to fight with your own hand? You sounds like somebody's trying to be a bitch to me! Oh, no, I, 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 listen! I'm, I'm being crafty! Like dwarves! Oh, so somebody covered with dwarves! Oh, you bastard! Oh, oh, we hate your pussy! Move it, guys. Both, 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 both Lucas's and you were just fucking shit talking. 
Um, he is going to attack at your orc friend. Okay. And he is going to definitely hit. He's going to do. His nuts! Ooh. His nuts! His nuts! Uh, His nuts! Good amount of damage. Yeah, okay. His nuts. Uh, your orc Aaron, friend, I... he's. Aaron, I need you to curb stomp this this dwarf. <laughs> no! Uh, the dwarf runs off. forward with his brand new shield and basically pushes off the ground and slams his thick squat head into the uh, orc's stomach, causing uh, the orc to like double over and then fall backwards onto the ground. Justin, may um, I take a help action to throw Kit? May I take a help action to throw Kit a stool? Aaron, your teammate is out. Okay. Yeah, I kind of expected um, that. his turn. So... Uh, it is your turn. It is one-on-one. -on -one. Justin, okay. I'm asking How if I can use a help action right. to throw a weapon. Uh, roll me an investigation How check. Loose those... right near you. How loose are those floorboards? <laughs> they are damaged and battered and sea-worn. You look like you could probably break up something pretty easily. 24! I... Yeah, you oh, find like a stool. Well, maybe it's not much, it's not huge, and it looks like it's falling apart. But it could maybe do for one good whack. I get, I yell, I'm like, Kit, I have a fucking stool in my hand! Okay! <laughs> no! <laughs> it's for me. You, you grab the stool out of the air, it's basically falling apart in your hands. Are you gonna use it to attack? Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I guess so. <laughs> All right, yeah. that's double. That's double dice. Kit, why do you roll so good? What was an eighteen plus six? The other one was a sixteen plus six. It's not advantage. Been, they've been attacking twice. Oh yeah. So you grab it out of the air and you just you grab you snatch it out of the air and using the momentum of it flying towards you, spin around, mm. smash it on the door. Um, Aaron, give me a D four. I got D four. Yeah, it added the d4 yeah. to your damage. Kit rolls really well, I hate it. <laughs> it's a plus four! <laughs> nice. So four plus, you did ten damage. So, uh, you cast oh this stool out of the air and just smash it to pieces on this door head, and she just crumples to the ground, splinters oh embedded in his skin. Look at this, she's oh screaming, no. curb, stop! Curb, uh, stop! The yeah, door yeah. falls to the ground <laughs> unconscious. And the crowd around you just hears, and like they're getting louder and louder and like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. nice. Um, Cole, uh, you got you. How much gold do you put in? Four. Uh, you head up there, and the ladies like good choice. Um, and you got twelve gold back. Twelve, nice. nice. Not many people. Not many people that the. Uh, <laughs> What can I say? I thought that the underdog had potential. <laughs> mm, I can tell. Although they might not be underdog for long. Mm. Um, Kit Ka, uh, you kind of the blue-headed guy is like, and we have our new champion. Hopefully, they return for the semi-finals in a couple of days. Oh no! No thanks. Kiss late. No thanks. Oh. <laughs> and he kind of like turns to you and he hands over a sack. Aaron, of 20 gold pieces. That's a lot of gold. Nice. Now yeah. uh, you come back here and you'll get even more than that, considerably more. And if you get to the finals, hoo -hoo -hoo, you'll be in for a buttload. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you take the 20 gold? No, he leaves yes. it. Of course he's gonna fucking take it. <laughs> <laughs> Cush the bet. I mean, I'm gonna go get uh, my my weapons and everything from Butter and Buttercup's Buttercup going. On top and it, yeah, Buttercup is like now consume them to show that you are dominant. <laughs> you kind of like step off the you kind of step off the deck. You kind of step off the deck, and a bunch of people are kind of like around you now. There's the guy from the uh, strength contest that Lucas was a part of. Uh, there's this dragonborn that you hadn't seen before, but he's kind of like congratulating you. Uh, you've got a few different people um, kind of like going, "Ah, oh, the good fight." <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> so, what is everyone doing? 
I feel like both Lucas's are like like cheering together about it. Basically like <laughs> we're 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 making high five motions and then sometimes awkwardly missing each other. <laughs> it is kind of cute. <laughs> Has the crowd dispersed around Kate yet? Um, it's beginning to, yeah. I kind of like, I'm gonna like walk up to Kit and just smile and go, throw up bucket, good option. <laughs> yes, 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 it was. That was definitely <laughs> a fun fight there, Kitka. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a good fight. <sighs> um, that. what is everyone, what's everyone doing? What's Santiago doing? I don't even see them on the map. Losing my shit. <laughs> They're over here. I see them. Oh, right. So I have video calls. Watching, just looking out for the kinds of people that came to watch, kinds of people that are around. What's up with this spooky person down here? Um, Look over the side, and people. you see this like cat. super like like pure white skin or gray skin drab. You're pretty sure with the red eyes. Mm. Uh, and he's holding a staff, and his hair is blowing majestically in the wind. It's like in slow motion, and he like kind of like whoops out his cloak. Uh, roll me an insight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, twenty-one. Uh, you're pretty sure he's noticed you've seen him and noticed him and taking interest and is being as showy as possible. <laughs> <laughs> he's hosting, he's billowing in the he wind. Like, you watch, and he like he like takes a hand and he like puts it in his hair, and in like slow motion, <laughs> he like does this, and it like flows in the sea breeze. Is Santiago Ooh. being is Santiago being romanced? Somebody like so. horse. <laughs> Just gonna kind of <laughs> make an eye contact. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> just awkward eye contact, and it's just you make eye contact with someone. <laughs> They've obviously been looking at you for a while. Yeah, uh, you kind of like awkwardly walk away, um, but he does not move an inch. He still has a staff in the gravel beach and is just waiting for someone else to notice him. <laughs> okay. oh, he just wants to be looked at. <laughs> He's just what's, a fancy lad. <laughs> Uh, both Lucas's are awkwardly high-fiving each other, but then sometimes missing, so sometimes they do this, and then they just giggle oh. about it. Yeah, I mean, what's going on with all these folks over in this area? Uh, let me find you, Eric. The cat. Oh, uh, so the cat is on top of this little, like, tent stall thing, um, and it's kind of, like, awkwardly crawling below it at the gnome who's currently stood on a bench, angrily shouting at Kit Cough from across, like, the plaza, while occasionally spitting in their direction. Um, oh, somebody <laughs> lost his bet. Uh, the stall itself, no. though, seems to be um, completely covered uh, and selling in loads of different, like, sweets and foods. Um, some of them with very weird names. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh-oh, I've lost the page. I closed every page. We drank it. One second, sorry. Shit, where is it? I had to open my um, history. Westy pumpkin. Pumpkin. Look um, at me. So there's loads of things here, but there's like caramel, uh, caramelized apples. Mm -hmm. um, where on earth is it? Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. I had to go through my history. Oh, God, the things I've seen. Um, you see something called Rocket Candy Chocolate Toffee Apple, um, along with a bunch of other names. Those kind of, like, stand out to you. Um, but there's loads of different, like, sweets. There's, like, meat pies. Um, there, they, there does seem to be another person, though. Uh, what seems to be actually another drow, coincidentally. Um, kind of stood in front of it next to the gnome, trying to calm her down. Um, but they see you kind of looking curiously at this like little like shop of foods and stuff, and they're like, "Hello oh, there. Would you, would you like to try delectable uh, sweets? What are mysterious chocolates?" 
uh, uh, howdy. I hate to disappoint, but I was looking at the cat on top of the tent. <laughs> Take in the sense and take in the sights. Uh, look at this. Would you like a shock to your system? I'll tell you now. Be careful. These use special ingredients. Trust me, it's all above board. The world government has approved every one of these, but maybe they'll have an interesting effect on your body. Can can I roll insight on that they're um, FDA approved? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Are they FDA roll approved? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I believe that shit. That's. Mm, I rolled a nine. My, uh. It does seem like a perfectly, like, reasonable and, like, understanding and just. I mean, it's really, really trustworthy. Uh, I know I'm, I'm not playing it out, but honestly, they don't seem that bad. They're a little weird, but the food seems safe enough. Yeah. Well, you could go with something a little more safe, like one of our. one of our shallots. Or you could try something a little more uh, extreme, a little more interesting. Maybe you'll grow eight inches. Maybe you'll be covered in feathers the next time you wake up. Who knows? And, um, by the way, I think everyone else has seen Santiago kind of across the plaza uh, talking to this weird little drow. He's so upset. <laughs> He's so off-centered! <laughs> you want this to be your sprite now, Maya? <laughs> no, with that huge-ass fucking hitbox! He looks like- he looks like an alternate dimension of Nicolas Cage. Yeah. He does. Um, That's cool. um uh, I'm gonna go over there, both of us are gonna go over there. Okay, so, uh, Santiago, the two Lucases can- <laughs> All right, don't waste all your shit on the shit. Ah, two young boys, I see. Twins. Oh, very rare occurrence indeed. I'm told that twins have mystical and magical connections with each other. So you'll both be interested in buying one of our delectable sweets or one of our more mystifying and magical concoctions. It depends on how much. Um, they're a little more open to barter than some other people here, but they're like, well, normally, uh, for, for the two of you, we'll say, uh, two gold pieces for one of our, one of our special drinks. Depends, what's the drink? <laughs> you see, and they kind of, like, scuttle over to the side, and the little gnome kind of, like, perks up as well, and she's like, yes. <laughs> and they just kind of, like, blabber. Um, heading over to like just drink as well, uh, but the drow kind of like digs through some like uh, these like glass cases and they pull out some like tankards and these big big barrels, um, and they're like, ah, oh, you see this special concoction? Uh, it has a, a interesting magical effects uh, approved by the world government as nothing harmful or nothing especially dangerous can come out of this. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. You'll, you'll you'll see no sign of the malignants in here. I promise you now. It's it's perfectly safe, perfectly clean. Uh, uh, but the same plus four on insight. <laughs> uh, they, they, they seem to be. They seem to be. They seem to be telling the truth. It's they're obviously a little weird, and it's obviously a weird thing they're selling. But you doubt that they could set up in a festival as big as this, at least in the main area. This kind of like main area with something that was obviously like banned by the. Mm. See if it does what they're saying. It might, but you you doubt that if it was like outwardly or obviously banned by the government, they probably wouldn't. I do have potion bottles on me, so I'd probably end up getting them in a bottle and corking it for later. You, you, you don't want to try any now? Oh, but you can try no, I think. Uh, not quite Justin thirsty. Wants I want to, try to finish. It now. Uh, rather sure. finish my water first. Perfectly understandable. You're going to get some? Yeah, sure. I have like two yeah. potion bottles. Well, we'll top it off. Uh, four, four gold for the both of those. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. Uh, you hand over four gold, and they kind of like pour out this um, interesting looking liquid. Can you roll me a um, wisdom? Can you roll me a perception check? Yeah, I can. 
17. This stuff looks familiar. This liquid that she's Does it remind me of the one that's on my that's on my waist? Yes. It's, not, it's it. not exactly the same, but it's very close. Mm, Lucas is going to get both of them. Oh, I, I, I see you have. What is that you have? Oh, something similar. That's a right antique, I must say. We, we haven't we haven't brewed any of that kind in oh, a very long time. What do you mean? What I just said. I, I mean, like, what do you mean, like, how long ago? Well, I don't rightly know. I don't keep up with the number. Insight check this bitch. Whoa. This bitch has to know What's something. It must be my Wi Fi or something. I don't know. I why. think it is your Wi Fi. <laughs> okay, 16 plus 4 insight. Uh, you, you're pretty sure she's telling you. She doesn't look like she. She doesn't look like she's lying to you. But you, you doubt mm. Jackson is excited. It's for a little experiment, shall we say? Well, that's none of my business. If you ever want to have a little more of an interesting or exciting time, come. come you will be set up all week. Uh, immediately, I'm going to grab the other Lucas's arm and scuttle <laughs> over and be like, "I third. don't know." And I'd be like, "Maybe we shouldn't drink this." I want to try. Lucas, Lucas, do you know you you've seen this one before? And I'm pointing to the one on my waist. This this is this is from Father's thing. It's what? made from both of the exact same crystals, and it could possibly kill you. Can we see what? this? Can we hear this? What are you saying, Santiago? Yeah, Santiago is right here. I'm I've scuttled off like somewhere where I could talk to Lucas like about it privately. Like, please, like I actually know this will probably kill you. Uh, Sam, I don't know if you're misremembering, but the chance to kill you is like 0.1%. I don't know. Well, yeah, but I also don't haven't taken the chance yet to fully understand the whole chemistry set. What's for the point of understanding this thing? <laughs> I have like all of the thing, all of the characteristics written down. Okay. I've been holding on to it for the reason of I wanted to understand this more. The alchemy set was to point to build spells, not spells, but potions, yeah, and also oh. understand this on my waist. Yeah, but if they're just selling it in a festival, it's probably fine. Look, I'll, let me just try. <laughs> How about we wait until we get back to the room and then we try it? How about that? Okay, so in sure. case something happens... I'll hold on to it then. I, uh, I have more waist belt. Oh, I have, like, sure, different little you're, already so, you're already so cluttered up with everything. How about I just hold on to it? How about I just, uh... I would just like to hold on to it for the fact of... Interest. I would also just like to hold on to it because I'm interested as well, believe it or not. Now you've hold on to that one for your entire little adventure. Why can't I hold on yes, to these? <sighs> Lucas is sitting there and he's just like, wait a I feel like I've heard this before. Look, just hand it over. It'll still be ours. I'm not going to drink it. I just want to hold on to it. You have to promise me that we're not going to drink it till later. It's a more fun sure. experience if both, of us, if both of us try it and see different results. I'm not doing that. Insight check this motherfucker. He can't lie to me. Giggle when you laugh. Just roll me straight insight. <sighs> Fine. What is everyone else doing? What is Santiago doing? Because... Lucas has ran up, bought some of this drink, and then ran. And it's scuttled off. <laughs> what? That's a 17 plus 4. What is Bader, what is Bader, Kitka, and Yui currently doing? Uh, Kit is eating food currently. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what Lucas is doing. <laughs> yes. You're just like watching Lucas from across the <laughs> Yeah, I'm watching Lucas. <laughs> Yui? Yui? Yui oh. is gone off to find herself a sucker. <laughs> Yui, can you roll me... Actually, you, you, you walk around on the map. Tell me what you see, unless you want to move off the map. Because you can. Uh, it would be better if you stayed on the map. I'm just going to wander a little bit over this way. Um. So you start heading towards this direction. And you hear someone talking. And after a kind of a couple of minutes of just kind of like looking around and glancing, 
uh, suddenly you turn the corner and you see these two uh, come out of the park. Uh, and you kind of like turn and see this huge fucking what you think is a Goliath, you're not entirely sure, uh, wielding this giant fucking metal club. I know it's an axe, but work with me. Um, uh, but he seems, he doesn't, he, he's very intimidating, obviously. He's like twice your size, vertically, and three times your size, <laughs> horizontally. Oh, my. <laughs> um, this person kind of like pats him on the back and is like, okay, go have fun. I'll be over here. Uh, you know where to find me if you need me. And she kind of like walks off and she kind of like gives you a, like a curt nod. And she kind of like heads into the festival. Oh my god, he, Justin has thrown a mentally dysfunctional man at you. Oh no. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to slowly approach him. Okay. You approach and he, he kind of sees you and he's like, Oh, where's Wusha? Oh, hi there. How are you t- well, this evening? Well, I you. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I know you. <laughs> I'm new in town. I was just wandering, enjoying the festival. I just saw the festival and wanted to enjoy the show. <laughs> Favorite part, I'll go walk. Calms the mind. Uh, what do you want? We uh, need walk some does lifting. Times, especially on a night like tonight. That's what I do. Lifting. Mm-hmm. I lift things. And hit things. Oh, really? Do you need something lifted or hidden? Oh. I can do that. Oh, maybe not right <laughs> now. <laughs> maybe not tonight, but perhaps sometime in the future. I'll have to remember that. What do you do then? I'll lift things and hit, hit it things. What do you do? I am a performer by trade and a fortune teller by night. Just for fun. Even faith, <laughs> I believe each person is in, 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 in duly uh, inherited with free will, and our actions determine what happens in our lives. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. <laughs> You're a free spirit, then. Yes. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I, I, I would open my eye with uh, my fortune. I could uh, maybe change my mind. What's my name? <laughs> it's, it's, it's hmm. Can I look him over to see if he has anything on yes, for his you name? Yes, 100% can. Roll me okay. a really easy investigation. Or uh, perception, whichever is whichever is better. Easy or not, it's still a 15 plus 3. Oh, yeah. Um, on his belt, he has this really large, it looks like it's gold, but it's probably just, like, covered in it, you know? Uh, yeah. Um, this really large belt, which is inscribed, it's really beautiful, with the name Ferdinand. Um, his name is Ferdinand. And below that, <laughs> and below that, and, and below, below that, in, um, parentheses, it says Ferdinand. <laughs> and kind of, like, sits down on the wall, which to you is, like, at your waist. To him, it's, like, at his knees. So he's, like, kind of, like, squ- he's like kind of like slouched over, sitting on this wall, and he kind of, like, puts his hands on his knees, and he's like, I've got, I've got some, some shinies. I'll give you some of your even fortune. Why not? What did he have on you? Um, you say this, and he kind of reaches into, like, his pants, and he kind of reaches all the way down to his leg, and he pulls out this big-ass, like, bag of gold. Oh, my. And he's my. like, oh, God, some here. Old Ferdinand paid well for lifting and hitting things. You should get into it. Probably he's better than being a teller of fortunes and all that. <laughs> After he, a man insults you, his profession. Hmm. Oh, I'm sure that you, I'm sure I'm sure that the job such as yours would probably pay more than mine. Oh, I, I, I'm gonna pay centerpiece in a couple of days, one of our festival games. Hey, how about you tell me how well I'm gonna do hitting things? How well you're gonna do hitting things? 
Yeah. Oh, that should be fun. Yes, let's go ahead. Hmm. Yumi, how much are you charging for your service? How about we do... Does two gold pieces sound fair? Uh, very expensive, but sure. About uh, two gold. <laughs> and he kind of like digs around and he's like, uh, yeah. He pulls out like two, so he pulls like a fistful of gold, which is way more than two. <laughs> and he picks out two with his big meaty fingers and like tosses it at you. Oh. Uh, but they just kind of like go wild and just fall on the ground and roll away. He's like, oh, I should have about that. He takes out two more and he's DM more gently. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, my good sir. <sighs> now let's see. How well are we going to do with hitting things? Amazing. The hitting things card. <laughs> the hitting things card. <laughs> hmm. Now let's see here. Our uh, first, I'm going to just go ahead and do a th- standard three card spread, and I'm not actually going to just draw it. I'm just going to make it up as I go along. OK, I already have a feeling. Let's see. Card number one, our emperor. I guess that does confirm. Are you very much a self-made man, my good sir? Ain't no one around here that lifts nor hit things better than me. Ooh, really? Uh-huh. I'll do it all myself. I was born from my own mother, and that makes that that's how I got my strength. I did it. Oh my. I was born. <laughs> <laughs> I grew these muscles myself. See? I can s- <laughs> I can s- I can see that. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see. Your current present. Oh my. Is there someone important to you in your life? Someone that you care about? I care about who's important to me. I have very dear, very close friends that I've, I've, I've spent all my all time keeping safe and precious. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, who is that woman who was with you, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, she's, uh, she's my helper. She helps me lift and hit things. (laughs) So would you say that she helps you with your inner strength? Man, I'd say so. That's a nice way of putting it. Okay. I can't do the little thing with this man, Sammy. I'm so sorry. I can't tell. I can't read. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. And for your future. Hmm. Oh, my. Your inner strength will be your outer strength. You're going to do great at this festival. You're going to be the king of hitting things. There is a bizarre, but like all of you from across like the festival can hear this sudden like terrifying roar of action. <laughs> Someone sounds and you happy. Hear like, ah, I'll hit the, I'll, I'll be the best hit in Bethlehem. There. Mm-hmm. Ain't no one's gonna, ain't no one's gonna lift better than I do. No one lifts better than you do. <laughs> <laughs> no one lifts better than Ferdinand. <laughs> Ferdinand Bond I. I Ferdinand Bond bitch. Ferdinand Bond <laughs> Oh, I must say, Ferdinand, this has been so much fun. Yeah, I still don't believe in the concept of fate. <laughs> but I will say that your reading has given me a proper confidence and emotional stability to hit and lift things even better. You go and do that. <laughs> I love oh, this. Geez. I love this so much. <laughs> yeah, you should be a counselor better than mine. And he kind of like, he, he flicks the another gold piece and he like, uh, he stuffs the gold bag back into his pants. <laughs> Cole, technically, she could just go pick up the two that rolled off, and she, that was like f- five gold right there. I could, actually. Should I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's two pieces that rolled off. <sighs> well then, good stuff, Ferdinand. It was very nice to meet you. 
Yeah, if you come to uh, the thing in a couple days, I'll be hitting and lifting things all sorts. Oh. I'd like to have another, not a good voice to cheer me on. <laughs> well, my friends and I certainly oh. are planning to spend a little bit of time at the festival. We are hoping to see the main event. So who knows? Perhaps I will see you there. Oh, no. He uh, kind of like stomps over and like slaps you in the back. <laughs> and it just it's it like your back breaks. all of your breath out. Oh. Uh, What's your AC? <laughs> it's low. It's a 14. Oh, he uh, rolled a 20. Um, <laughs> Yui's back is broken. <laughs> no. Yui broke her You're back. You're just dead. We're going to have to come <laughs> heal Yui you. Died. <laughs> he just, I like it, cut G, Yui. Yui, um, he slaps you on the back. <laughs> and you just... <laughs> and you take uh, 12 points of damage. Oh my god! <laughs> he just slams you. I'm sorry about that. I'm too good at lifting things now. My bad. <laughs> it's, it's okay. <laughs> you he's dead. <laughs> oh. He kind of like, he, he apologizes and then stomps off into the festival. Okay. I just, Yui's I going to. The rest of you. <laughs> Yui just <laughs> got up <laughs> slowly, dust herself off, and she's going to go find that gold that went missing. <laughs> uh, roll me uh, an investigation check to find the two pieces of gold. Investigation. That is a 13 plus 3, so a 16. I don't oh, you think we could beat pieces. this guy okay. with our weapon. So that's two more gold as well. Sweet. So it's a total of five. Nice. <sighs> if you can't tell, by the way, really low intelligence, really high wisdom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <sighs> I think I'm done for the night. <laughs> <laughs> you we just got fucking back slapped. Oh, my own no Shinderu. <laughs> Like, you really like fucking like limps back I into the festival. No, she stretches her <laughs> back a little bit, but then she does come back. <laughs> uh. Dude, all of her <laughs> spine is broken. Uh, by the way, uh, Lucas, we'll turn back to you for just a second. Um, he uh, was I insight the checked truth. this bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was telling the truth. He's not going to drink it, but you can tell he's very tempted. I'm like smiling with like the play with like a very playful intent, but I'm doing this back and forth. <laughs> um, Santiago, Bader, and Kit Cal, what are the three of you doing? Currently, um, um, looking in awe at this gigantic man who just walked into town. <laughs> After I, look over at it, I look over at him when Bader does it. I'm like, found it. After realizing what the sound or what the origin of that sound was. <laughs> uh, Kit Kat, you're currently still talking to like the um, the uh, Dragonborn and stuff. Uh, when suddenly you feel uh, someone punch your back, oh, or like punch your shoulder. Uh huh. Do you turn around? Uh, oh. It wasn't a punch. Um, this very large man just poked you in the shoulder to get your attention. Hello? Oh, there. Hi. Ah, well, was, was, was you the one that, that beat up all the others earlier in this part? Yes. Yeah, that's the uh, me we have been facing you off in the finals. Uh, it'd be one, uh, uh, I just had a very nice lady uh, give me advantage on all of my uh, social attack. <laughs> oh, <shit>. ah! <laughs> I'm not, I'm not fight. I will not. You're gonna die. You'd die if you could use your weapon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what have you done? It's wonderful things. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin, you didn't hear it. I was just absolutely screaming. <laughs> this giant um, man. The like... dragonborn, the dragonborn who was talking to you earlier, Kitka, um, suddenly he's like right on your side uh, next to this guy, and he like wraps like a scaled uh, arm around your back, like around like your shoulders, like a friendly way. And then, yeah, this, 
Thanks, it's, it's Hunkel. Take you down anyway, you big loaf. Can't run! <laughs> I, no, I'm not. <laughs> it's like, I am not. <laughs> Oh, like, so the dragonborn is obviously incredibly drunk, and he kind of like because they have really long mouths, it's really hard for them to drink ale. It's very sad. He kind of like opens up his mouth, like dunks an entire like like puff into his mouth. Of, like, I like how you guys are so concerned about two Lucases when Kit's over here getting himself into trouble and needs help. Uh, <laughs> and uh, proceeds to kind of look you up and down. He's like, "Oh, that it? You're confident, are you?" Well, that's good to hear. No, I believe that I'm every not. person should have a good amount of self-respect and confidence, but too much can lead to arrogance. Okay. <laughs> He's very wismatic. He's very wise. He's a wise <laughs> hitter, man. <laughs> oh, oops. Um, he's like, ah, well, if you're so confident, I'll expect to see you in the ring in a couple of days. A bit, a bit, all those, all those dunces. <laughs> oh, it's two hundred gold on the line if you can break me. Okay, I don't uh, care. Mm. <laughs> you know, actually, <laughs> hey, actually, not paying attention. I just hear two hundred gold. It's like, hmm. Well, uh. <laughs> so, so I'm just gonna be like. Have fun and like do a little nice little like pat on his little shoulder, and I'm gonna try to get away from this drunk guy who is like getting me in more trouble. Is, like he's like he's like ale sloshing everywhere. He's got another pup, someone in really screwy David. Who's giving? Um, and he's just like he's like now like talking up like this. He like he's talking. He's oh talking my up, god! And he's like poking his finger into him. And you kind of like walk away, but you look back. He glances back, and this dragonborn is still like pointing at you, he's, like like jabbing his finger into the huge guy. Uh, what is uh, Santiago and Vader doing currently? What? Wondering if he could make gorilla grip in two days. That is Vader is uh, musing. You see. <laughs> what about Santiago? What's Santiago going to? Santiago! Kind of, kind of call Kit over. Actually, yes. actually wait a minute. Are we? Santiago would do really. What? What does the dice on your hoof attack? Two d six. Two d six. Give me your hooves. <laughs> Man, it's just like, give me your legs. Add the bow. I came over to where Santiago's so... waving you over to. I never seen you look afraid of someone before. Well, it's not that I'm really afraid, but I also don't want to die. <laughs> then I don't think any amount of metal. They're gonna stop you from someone who doesn't know how to control their own shit. Yeah. You'd be surprised. And, <laughs> You'd be surprised. And plus, if we're if we're gonna be remaining low oh, key, he does this with like big quotation marks. Uh, you're I right. can't have my cloak fall off because I'm. Pink. What if I cover your whole body? Hmm. If what? <laughs> He can move it with like controls. Yeah. Uh, Yui, Yui, and Lucas, are you here as well? Yui has uh, been like, the I've, main I've, area. I imagine that like uh, Lucas is like with this conversation. Not. He's like, if any of you seen, oh, there she is. Oh, uh, hi, Lucas. Are you? Are you okay? Oh, yes, yes, I'm fine. I just went to take a little walk, and I I ran into this very nice. I point and, to I point to that. I point to, 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 to the man. Yes, he's very pleasant. Doesn't know his own strength very well. <laughs> <sighs> I, I'm going to look at the other Lucas and be like, I'm hungry. Let's go find something to eat. Uh, Santiago, Bader, and uh, Kit Kai, you were not done. I was just asking if the two of you and Lucas were here. Hmm. Um... Are the two of you? Have you joined the rest of the group in their talk? I yes, think we, so, I, yeah. yes. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. I literally came into uh, the group, asked where Yui was, saw her, and was like, oh. 
I wasn't, then I wasn't move paying attention your, to it. Your I, wasn't, thing, I wasn't paying attention to the map. <laughs> I was not paying attention to the map. Does anybody else... Is anybody else hungry? Like, real questions. Mm. I feel like Maybe something might help lying. you if... He's pointing to you because you look injured. <laughs> I mean, perhaps something warm would be nice. Heaven forbid, no more rations, please. Thank you. Did he hit you? A friendly gesture. Probably oh. didn't mean it. Are you oh. sure? Yes. <laughs> Let's just get something to eat. Careful, yeah. Two hundred's a lot, <laughs> yeah, but if he's actually going to be trying to harm, you're going to die. <laughs> Yeah. I like how Kay has just suddenly accepted that they are going into the match. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, he's not. Yeah, he's, he's yeah, you have. I, do not, <laughs> I do not want to make another character. Thank you very much. Hi. I have an From idea for one, but I area. don't want to. From the center of the area, Ferdinand like, just like, starts to bore. He's like, <laughs> in the middle of the area. And like a bunch of other people, like kind of roll for you as it as well. Let's leave, please. Let's leave and get something to eat. Let's let's go. Let's go, please. Oh, yes. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, it is getting quite late. It's about, uh, it's been a few hours. How Um, is uh, Galileo and the egg been? Uh, Galileo is still silent. Hmm. You what can about tell the egg? He's, How's the egg? Con- the egg is fine. You've, met, you've mainly kept it safe. I imagine you've mainly kept it uh, hidden as well, as, con- as inconspicuously as possible. But it seems In fine. my cloak? Yeah. Um, it I is basically have probably like, taken uh, my cloak off and probably wrapped it up to make it look like it's a package of some kind. Uh, honestly, my mental uh, image was that it was under your cloak that you were wearing, so you had a hunchback. <laughs> no, yeah. no. I just imagine like this is the first time I think Lucas is actually just simply in his shirt and pants. Mm-hmm. Lucas has a fat ass. That is the egg. So just so you know, you guys got here about a week before the festival ends, and a week before the same day, the royals arrive. So, um, we can go ahead and skip there. But you should also know that uh, the festival will change slightly every single day. There is an itinerary. Um, in a couple of days, there will be the semifinals for the fighting ring. Uh, there will be fights going on like at pretty much every day in the background, but the actual semifinals, which Aaron would participate in if they want to, um, is they would not, you, you would not, you wouldn't be fighting Ferdinand, uh, just so you know, until the finals, even if you got there. Um, but there are other games and other um, activities that will be going on every single day that you guys could engage in if you want to. Along with um, some, like the shops, like the sweet shops, the armor shops, the kind of like souvenir shops, uh, they'll all remain open every single day. Um, you want me to tell you what the other festival activities are, or do you not care? Um, uh, let go, us hear um, it. Yeah, sure. Let us hear it because we might not do every day, but there might be little mini sods that we can probably get to before the main event. Okay, yeah, definitely. Hold on. Let me find it. Um, other stuff that will be going down during the festival during the day and the night. Does there Santiago is... find some honest business work? <laughs> there is a archery competition, although it's not specifically just bows. Uh, there's two days of archery, not right next to each other, but one day is tomorrow, and the second day is a couple days back. How um, common are guns down here? Um, not as common on the upper plate, I've told you this, not as common on the upper plate, but they are still used, and you can have a gun if you want to enter the... Santiago! <laughs> can we, we all need to go bet on Santiago, um, they have a pistol under There is a head. animal handling contest, it's basically a rodeo. Uh-huh. Um... <laughs> Does Santiago have a there laptop? There is a three <laughs> event. Animal hit is a plus four. Pretty good. There's a three event strength and will <laughs> competition, which includes several other things. There's um, no intelligence based competitions. Sad. There's a rogue skill test. Um, Vader, there you are, my man. A rogue skill test. Not a rogue. Yeah, basically. That sounds like a way to catch criminals. 
<laughs> that sounds like a little hunt spot. Um, oh, no, we should we should do this. We should submit Buttercup into that animal handling there contest. There is a bard <laughs> slash singing competition. Ooh. Cool. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, there is obviously the semifinals and finals of the one-on-one fights that Aaron could, or anyone could participate in. Sadly. Um, Sadly, there are no intelligence-based competitions for smart people because what's the point in maybe that? Maybe there's a uh, you want to do a fucking academic team yeah, trivia hell competition. Yeah, bro. yeah, nerd. Hell yeah. We two smart people. We had two smart boys. Give me an maybe you can team. try to fix a, uh, a car or something. You fucking nerd. Sure. <laughs> Give me like so an hour. You fix a car so fast. My whole thing. It's machinery. There is a beauty contest. Ooh. A pin the tail you of the mean- hog archery contest. I uh, want Santiago oh. to do all the archery contests so that way we can and all just pay a fuck ton of money because we know there, Santiago's a good shot. <laughs> there is a dance contest. Ooh. Um, some of these are happening on the Lucas same would dates be interested. None of these apply to Lucas's abilities. Oh, there are also card games you can play. Lucas is part fighter. Just enter yeah, the arena. I mean, I also could just... No. No. Come on. Absolutely <laughs> not. Why? It's only for a minute. Just win a minute. <laughs> just win in a minute. There you go. None of these apply to Lucas's skill sets. I'm sad. Um, I'm trying to Sorry, they don't have miss. anything on magical knowledge. No, yeah. not magical um, knowledge. I mean, just knowledge yeah, in general. World that hates magic. Give me a fucking at, like trivia quiz, some shit like that. Like, you know what? Sure, yeah. If you like a win, quiz. okay, then oh, fucking another yeah, sure. world. And there was a trivia contest. How well do you think you'd actually do? We could try. Like, if you went to a trivia contest in like Argentina. Um, Maya, the there's, there's a reason it's called trivia. The tavern has a quiz night, as good bars do, um, which will test you on several different things about the world. Um, mainly things about creatures, um, things about the history, um, things about like various esoteric knowledge, um, stuff like that. Justin, please things also make these things know. that apply that I can figure out, because that's basically Why? loaded. Yeah, it's almost like a Justin trivia like contest. Just to tell me things. About a world that you've never, that you know nothing about. You have actually no like reason like to know anything like about this like, place. There are like concurrent monsters. You could win. Lucas and I could but... win, but I'm also in a world I don't know anything about. So therefore, what's the point? Just guess. Sammy, stop being pessimistic. You're losing nothing but a couple of gold pieces. Just. I'm losing everything because we don't have any money. Just guess. We have, we have a bit of gold. I said, believe. We have like. 50 I only have twenty six. We, we have like over fifty if we all combine our money. If we all combine our money, but we know what happened last time we combined our money. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> there is a few of the activities if you guys want to participate in, or you can just kind of chill and have fun until. Well, I want to enter the dance competition. I'm going to egg the other Lucas into a trivia competition and Bader too. The other Lucas is a little hesitant, but he's like, not, I guess. Yeah. I'm kind of like leaning Could over. Could be useful to learn stuff. Okay, so Yui wants to do the dance competition. Uh, the two Lucases and Bader, I think. Bader, are you cool with that? Yeah. Is anybody else wanting to join the okay. fucking trivia night? Because it all brains count. You will have to uh, uh, be. You, know, you will have to. What's the word? Uh, come up with a team name. Just so you know. Team, I'm not and- from here. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, so Lucas, the two Lucases and Bader want to join the quiz night. Does anyone else want to do that? Oh, y'all are so fucking lame. Okay. I'm always here for you your could, shit. Quiz you night, could be lucky. You do the dancing contest. Does anyone else want to do the dancing contest? Make Except Santiago do it. What? 
Santiago. <laughs> what the archery what is needed? So we can, Santiago, what we is need? needed for dancing? Uh, so the Dexterity. dancing contest is actually Knowledge. pretty complicated. It's not that complicated, but there are a few different there. It, it, there are a few different skills that would be useful to have. Let me let me give you an example. Um, obviously, performance checks would be useful, but so would stuff like insight checks, dexterity, um, intelligence for uh, certain things. Oh, no, I can't do strength, that. Strength, though, it also includes strength. And constitution checks are also needed for this. So it, it's a whole thing. Dancing is like an athletic, intensive thing. So you need to be good at a few things. But the payout is pretty big for the person who does the best. And also, you say is it like a partner right. thing or is it individual? Um, you, you want to ask around a little bit to some people about that? Yeah, I mean, I guess yeah, yeah, then it would be like. Or... Okay. Um, so the lady, uh, Yui, that you had talked to for the bet that you bet on KitKat for, um, she's actually kind of the head manager, in quotations, of the various festivities. So she's not really the one who, like, manages or is everything, but she kind of oversees it all, understands the rules, and kind of directs people to set it all up, right? Um, so did you talk to her about it? You and, yeah, sure. uh, KitKat, you're here as well? Okay, and she's like, oh, hello again. Hi, I couldn't help but notice that there's a dance competition happening this week. <laughs> yes, there is. It, it'll be a very good one. I've heard a few, a few, a few, a few interesting contenders this year. Are the two of you thinking about joining up as well? A fighter like yourself oh, yes. would probably not be too bad. Ooh, tell me about it. Oh well, dancing is a test of all sorts. Uh, a test of. Uh, insight and being able to find another partner, a test of strength to be able to move your body and lift them, a test of constitution to really hold your own and make sure to stay in the whole thing, a test of dexterity to show your moves, and a test of performance to wow the judges. Mm. So Aaron, to answer you in meta, um, you don't come in with a partner, but during the dancer, uh -huh. you uh, basically find Oh, and depending okay. on who your partner be, yeah. So hopefully you're insightful okay. enough to find a good partner, not a bad one. Oh, it sounds delightful. I'd certainly be happy to sign up for it. Oh, the two of you? Sure. Okay, okay. then. Uh, that'll be... Oh, hold on. Uh, that'll be two gold pieces for the both of you. All right. Uh, you hand it over, four gold pieces, and she puts in her pot. Uh, and your names? Let's go, you eager that, please. Okay, and you? Kit Kat. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, she writes it on two sheets of paper. She kind of like, uh, she kind of writes it down to this list, you assume, and she hands the both of you two leather bands, or one for each. Can you um, get a slip at the? Passes. Can you get a slip at like all the names on the thing? Because maybe what she could do is, if she finds some of the names and memorizes them, she could ask around to meet these people to see if she can get a better edge on the competition. Sabotage them. That's more sabotage them by knowing who the best is. That's more work than I'm putting in. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the rest of the company. There would be some pretty interesting interactions. That's all I'm saying. If you try, if you wanted to. Mm. Um, also, part of the competition will be when you're dancing in the middle of dancing. You have to find partners occasion, um, and you don't want to get a bad partner because that could drag your score down. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to, that's a totally legitimate thing that Sam said. But if you don't, then okay, I can see if I can get a quick passing glance at the names. Okay, what? roll me a, hmm, I guess, stealth or sleight of hands, whichever is higher, stealth or sleight of hands. You don't roll. ask roll, you to roll Same. sleight of hands. She's a bard. Yeah, that's a oh, 10 plus oh. 9, so that's a 19. That's good. Um, you catch a couple names on there. Um, you see Aaron Dolioth, the drow, in very curvy, very pretentious handwriting. Um, you see, to your surprise, Ferdinand in parentheses Fred. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, you see a couple other names, um, like Nibbly, N-I-B-B-L-Y. 
Um, that sounds and, bad. Uh, there are a couple names that are actually that's... scratched out, um, but you don't get. Yeah, Dude, those, those are the names that you've got to go look at. Okay. Uh, you've signed up for that, uh, Lucas. Are you signing up for the um, in quiz? Sure. Fuck it. Okay. Uh, you kind of go up to the uh, lady at the bar. Uh, you don't sign up with the lady. The uh, lady there just off here. Oh, you signed up with a bar lady for this one. And she's yeah. like, oh, hello again. Oh, no, I don't know you. Uh, what's up? Trivia night. Oh, of course. Uh, that will actually here for be uh, just tomorrow. Uh, are Ooh. you signing up, the three of you? Yes. Yes. Uh, you you will need a fourth person. Uh, we could assign you a straggler, if that's fine. Or, uh, I don't want to meet him first. Someone else you know. Oh, well, that will be difficult. Um... Uh, you could find your own person, or we could just have uh, a sign a stranger to you when all said and done. I'm sure there will be some. There are always a few. I'm looking at Vader like, do we do we trust it or do we try to convince our far- fucking party members? Let's try and convince someone. Yeah, I agree. You don't have to just convince your party members. You could find an NPC out there. Dareth, Dareth, Dareth. The yes! thing is, yeah. you're welcome, nice. Sammy. Thank you! Just I out. <laughs> oh, so you do have a fourth member of your team. Yeah, he's just not here. Oh, okay, I understand. Um, okay, that will be uh, only four gold pieces. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do um, you hand them over? Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you Our very much. Um, uh, what's your team four. name? Do you have one? Uh, if you don't, you can just come back in a little think bit. About it. Yeah, if, I did, you admittedly don't, just... didn't think about that. Okay, uh, here, uh, she gives you like a slip of paper. Uh, just show this to me, to show that you've already paid. Um, and when you come up with the team name, just come back and we'll write it down. Uh, Fuck it. Hope to see you there. And she kind of like gives you like an awkward kind of like finger gun and like scurries off to help some. Does it back? <laughs> um, Aaron, you're joining the dance competition. Uh, Aaron uh, and Maya, do either of you want to join the uh, one-on-one fights? I really want Santiago to do archery um, because if we can bet on Santiago, I have no problems betting on Santiago. Yeah, <laughs> I really do. Okay, but just instead of rodeo. <laughs> you can do, do multiple. Both. The archery and the rodeo aren't happening on the same day. I know. I will. Uh, they're <laughs> can can we bet on Santiago at this fucking archery competition? Because I I would bet full fucking force plus twelve to fucking hit shit. Also, you whatever your importance is, if Santiago goes lower than that, uh, we could cheat. Yeah, I could just temporarily nudge you in the right direction. Does lucky feet count as magic? No, it doesn't. No. That's just luck. It's just uh, Maya. There are I need three, Maya. Mm-hmm. There are three separate days. There's archery day one, archery day two, and the archery finals. Um, each one gets a little bit harder, but each one it narrows down the people who are joining. Uh, there are currently a few of the contestants currently up actually on the gravel beach, um, setting up and making sure the archery stuff is going to be good. If you want to go talk to them before you start to sign up. Yeah, sure. I'm okay. going with them. I'm going with them. Can we bet uh, on Santiago, Justin? I need to know this. I like to imagine going? Lucas just saw a bunch of people standing around with bows and assumed there was some sort of test of accuracy and just was like, Santiago, Santiago. No, hey, I, no can, I, can I, I just imagine, like, it is exactly that, but then he just walks up to you and, like, keeps, like, like both of them on both sides, like. <laughs> like, yeah, what? Surrounded. You're a really good shot. Yeah. So like, we can just bet on you. I, I, if they let me use my rifle, maybe. I don't see why not. It's not a bow. Uh, I, can I reasonably say that I've asked Dareth about guns before? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, he Dareth told us that they're that they're not like super common, but you know, people see them. Why not? <laughs> Alright, fine. We'll go as. But everyone else over there's got bows. They oh, are there gun users there? <laughs> well you te- Santiago would be proficient with a bow because he has a fighter. Yeah, I am. So 
Even if you have to use a bow, I don't think it's that much of an issue. It's mechanically it isn't. <laughs> it <laughs> mechanically it isn't. <laughs> Lee said, Tiago's like, oh, uh, this is actually we're easy. We're going to you, have ask. A, you have a musket, right? I have a revolver and a hunting rifle. Right, I assume the hunting rifle is equivalent to a musket. Or does it have its own stat? It just says rifle. It's. I thought it was. Oh, I'm sure it says it was, rifle, comma, hunting. Uh, what, is, what, is the, what is the distance limits on those weapons? Uh, 80. Let's be 80 and then a dash something else. Slash something else. Oh, uh, 240. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. And it might um, just shoot from across the way. <laughs> well, well, hold on. Uh, so you're going to go and talk to them? We're going to go and talk. I mm-hmm. want to see if I can bet on Santiago. Okay. Uh, so the two of you head up there. Uh, is anyone the else three going of us. Well? Oh, they look as well. Is anyone else going? Nah. Uh, okay. Um, so the three of you head up, and immediately, uh, this person in the gold robe, who you think is probably a cleric, um, kind of turns to look at you. Uh, they've got blue hair, which does not... It clashes. And they kind of go, oh, hello there. Uh, howdy. Um, I'm looking to sign up and join. Uh, uh. It, it, is it just archery or any sort of ranged weapon? Any weapon? sort of ranged capabilities are allowed here. You could even join with a slingshot if it so possessed you. Uh, well, I suppose I'll sign up then. Would you like to know the <laughs> rules first? Yes, rules, yeah. please. There will be three days of our little archery competition. The final happening the day before the royals arrive. The targets for the first day will be at 50, 100, 200, and 300 yards away. Uh, Sorry, feet. Feet away. You will be given eight rounds of non-magical ammunition. If you are using a rifle, you will be giving eight bullets. If you have a bow or some other type of instrument, you will be receiving eight of that ammunition instead. You are not permitted to use magical equipment, and as such, your weapon will be kept here until the day arrives to ensure that no enchantments or any sort are placed on it. As that would also be illegal. That makes Santiago nervous. (laughs) Each target that you fire at will give you a certain number of points. The contestant with the most points will move on to the next day. Uh, Just so you know, Maya, in mechanics, Mm -hmm. the uh, first day... The furthest targets are 300 feet away. Uh, on the third day, though, they get up to uh, 500 feet away. Your rifle does not have that range. Yeah. it's ma- This test is made for longbows, which means that longbows do have that range. But you're going to either need to find a better rifle or use a bow if you want to join this. However, the payout is pretty good if you win. What if I make the the rifle better? (laughs) What if we make the rifle better and then then join? How how do you add range to rifle? Scope. (laughs) I'll say this. I'll say this. Scope? Uh, (laughs) Scope wouldn't help. Uh, I'll say this. Sean, I'll I'll say this. You can probably, like, buff up the rifle. To last for the three days to fire at the distance it needs, equivalent to a longbow. But I'll say that you think if you do, it'll probably end up destroying the rifle with increased power. Okay. <laughs> or at least damaging it heavily. Heavily. What is the payout? Uh, the payout. 
for the first day, if you move on, you will gain two, uh, ten gold pieces. If you win the second day, you will get a hundred gold pieces. If you win the third day, you will receive three hundred gold pieces. Four hundred and ten in total for the winner. I look at Santiago, kind of like, what do you think? It's really only a matter of whether or not the bullet's going to make it that far. Mm. Uh. Sign-ups will continue until the end of this day and the end of the next. And if you have not signed up until the end of tomorrow, you will not be able to join. Understood. Say it so menacingly. respond to that he's just staring <laughs> okay I, uh, mm, understood. Uh, no we'll see we'll, we'll i'll talk you'll see me later yes we'll see <laughs> does he look at everyone this way or is it just me uh he turns back to the people he is talking to and he goes now where will those targets be set up Oh my god! Let <laughs> me kind of continue the conversation. Uh, the other people that he's talking to uh, do not seem perturbed by this. They, they seem pretty used to it. Yeah. Um, I lean to Santiago and I'm like, I think Baylor might be able to do something about the range. I, I, I don't quite know how. You can always ask him. That. I suppose so. I'm gonna like wave down Bader. But. I'm gonna come over. I heard something about a rodeo. <laughs> How well do you think you can increase gun range? But I'm not sure what it would do to the rifle. It might damage it a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Well, can't you fix your own gun, Santiago? Not if it's damaged beyond repair. Would it be damaged beyond, beyond repair, Justin? Uh, Sean, you're not sure if it would be. Maybe it be? I wouldn't try I'm it. To break my weapon, <laughs> so I don't have to get to the point where they need repairs. Mm-hmm. Well, you have to repair them nonetheless, because simply just using them is the zone damage yes, itself. but I mean, it could explode. Mm. That would be bad. That'd be very bad. <sighs> yeah. These have served me well, and I'm attached to them, so. <laughs> Pass. Nah. I'm gonna go with the other Lucas, and I'm gonna be like, Will you come with me? I need to go find Dareth. Uh, yeah, sure, of course. We're gonna go find Dareth. Do you know where he is? Pretty sure he probably told us where he'd be. He does. He's not. He. Pretty sure he would have said something about that. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Yes, of course. I always know. Wait, he told us where he was going to be. Oh right. Sorry. My bad. Really We're going to go find sweets. death. I okay. know. We'll come back and get some. Oh my! What is the decision? Sorry. Um, you could always use a longbow, but I know that's not exactly something. Yeah, I don't have one. Yeah. You could buy one. I don't have money. I'm doing this to get money. Gee, I could, how what, could I make a longbow by the time? He can in an afternoon. Out a longbow in an Do you afternoon? have wood carving tools? Where I'm sure I can yes. make them. Yes, he does. I have right yeah, tool for the job, make- so I can summon oh. wood carver's <laughs> tools. You would you would have to do it before the end of tomorrow. Yeah, is it not a lot of time. Is it possible though? Don't no, hold on. Well, I imagine Dareth has used a bow before. Does Dareth have a bow? He doesn't have a bow, but he's pretty good at things like that. <laughs> of a long like, bow. He's speaking, just I, I Sean. Technically, the yeah. same accuracy with a bow. 
Uh, the traditional construction of a longbow consists of drawing the yew wood for one to two years, then slowly working the wood at <laughs> the entire process, taking up to four years. Yeah, but with magic, let's say that. <laughs> magic that I have to hide. Yeah, but if we go out into the forest, they won't know. Yeah, do you have a way to speed up a day to four years? To a longbow requires cultivating the yew wood for one to two years. <laughs> <laughs> Cole, what happened to your camera? I'm eating. I don't want you to see that. Oh. Yeah, that's why I shut my camera uh, off, too. Uh, there is the weapon stall that that guy that uh, Yui talked to when you guys first entered town. Also, yeah, Maya, mechanically, it's the same chance to hit, but longbows fire a lot better. Yeah, I know. So yeah. if we did get Santiago a longbow, they could particularly enter it with, like, mechanically, they could still do it. Maya, it, it, I'm, I'm just telling you, if, if you were willing to sacrifice your gun for this, you also would have a slightly easier chance to hit than if you used the ball. But that's entirely up to you. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Slightly, not like enormous, but there would be, you know, it would be a the little less difficult. I, I would roll some dice for that. It will be damaged 100%. The, the, the question is... The dama- the how damaged. damaged. Yeah. How damaged mm-hmm. would be the thing. Fuck it. Sure. Oh, you're going to let Bader do it? Yeah, Bader, you yeah. can totally, you can totally refit. It, it's literally just, it, it's basically stuffing more uh, explosive gel into the container. Uh, you know, you're you're basically refitting it so that it'll have a lot more of a kick when the bullets fly. And yeah, you're, you're pretty sure it'll last Santiago for three days in the competition. Okay, but like I said, it'll it'll be damaged. Okay, which gun though? The hunting rifle or the other one? The I assume the rifle. I, I would not be giving up. No way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the hunting rifle like can be fixed. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do up? it. Yes. Uh, I assume you'll sign up tomorrow when Vader's yeah. done. Uh, but we can go ahead and role play as if it is tomorrow. So you kind of go back after the day. Vader fed it. A- set up. You said something about a rodeo. <laughs> oh right. Okay. Um. Kika's gonna go, and he's just gonna be like, "Is, is there a a, a singles mixer?" Sing- <laughs> oh. Who are you asking this to? Just, just a man. <laughs> just, just a random person a you walk up to. Are you asking the Ferdinand this? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think Ferdinand would know. Uh, uh, do you like, uh, do you ask like, the bartender in the tavern? Okay. Do you ask uh, the bartender in the tavern? Oh, uh, a single sure. mixture. I mean, like, well, um, um, not not exactly, but just hang around in the tavern long enough, and trust me, someone drunk enough will ask anyone out. <laughs> that sounds so weird in the context. You just talk to enough people, uh, and I, I promise that you, you'll find something. Most people here are either single or willing to be single. <laughs> willing to be single. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, man. Uh, Maya. Well, let's we'll take a break. Okay, yeah. We're gonna take a break real quick, but I'm gonna tell you about the rodeo, okay? Um, so technically it's not a rodeo, it's, but it is wild animal handling. It is basically a rodeo. Uh, contestants will compete first on a well this might not be great for you because you are a centaur um have to ride a horse contestants have to yeah ride a horse and then a bull um did Santiago ride themselves actually it's really funny I am because Maya um the final event now, before before the rest of it, but the, but the writing event, um, they they have to write a centaur who has come, who is helping out the situation. I think I'd still 
watched this event. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the centaur isn't currently yeah. here, but mm-hmm. he is in town. So I imagine you're right talking. To, yeah, I imagine you're talking Maybe. to the lady about this. But uh, they are paying him. He is one of the more sociable centaurs out there, uh, and he's agreed to help this, obviously for a good amount of pay. Um, mm. Uh, yeah, and it, it's basically just stands, which mm. is a rodeo. So I'm not really sure what you thought you were gonna be doing. <laughs> Wrangling bulls. You could, you can one hundred percent sign up and try and join and try and ride the horse and then the centaur. I don't know. You just said animal <laughs> handling. Vaguely, well, it's and handling it's animals. It's not I literally. Know. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. I was home doing oh, matador we shit. We just need the two centaur pile up. What if Santiago signs up to be the animal to be handled? <laughs> he could get a How much payment. He wanted to like, yeah, get payment for that. Hunt down the other centaur, break its knee, make it lame. See, I'd, I'd I'd be fine with killing a bull, but not a not a centaur. Uh, although well, they, they do recommend to you, uh, Santiago, um, that if you are looking for more of like an actual wrangling rather than like a riding thing, in the Oasis, one of the islands of the Tri Conglomerate, the uh, desert island, uh, they need some pretty big and pretty um, famous, shall we say. Uh, rodeos of more of like the wrangling sort, more of like, like you said, the matador sort. Um, the OS has ha- handled some pretty big competitions there, some pretty big festivals. And- so, Yui, you and Kitka have signed up for the dancing competition. Mm-hmm. Um, Kitka, you're not doing the fights, right? I'll see if now. I don't think they can hear me. Maya is doing the R3 competition. Lucas is doing the tavern quiz. Is anyone else doing it now? Vader's uh, uh, also doing the tavern quiz. quiz. Yes, he is. Mm-hmm. I think that's it, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Making sure. Thank you. Mm-hmm.